Well, hello every again, everyone. It has been quite a long time since I last streamed. Quite a long time since I last streamed. Oh no, I've got this going again. Hold on a sec. Oh no, I've got this going again. Hold on a sec. Oh no, I've got this going again. Hold on a sec. Oh no, I've. Okay. Well, that was a bit embarrassing. Now that my sound is fixed, I'll start over. Welcome, it's been a long time since I've streamed, and I thought I'd pick it up again. So, since it's been so long since my last playthrough, I'm going to start a new one. And I've never given Vera's mods a really proper shake. Every time I've played with them, I've kind of been playing with a lot of other new stuff at the same time, and I've never got a good feel for how they really, how they really feel. So this is going to be Star Sector, Vera Edition. The only content mods I'm playing with are going to be Vera's Sector and Vera's Ship Pack, but I am going to use a bunch of utility mods just to make everything prettier. I'm going to be having, let's see, Light Show, Trailer Moments, Combat Analytics, Combat Chatter, Lazy Lib, Magic Lib, Version Checker, and Graphics Lib. And apparently, okay, I don't have console commands enabled. I'll have to put console commands on. So let's start a new game in Vera's Sector. Let's see, who do, who do I want to be? Do we have any do we have any new fancy portraits? I think these are all normal portraits, even though I know that Vera has been making tons of new ones with the Deep Dream algorithm, so I will wait for that. But in honor of Vera's last profile pick, we will choose that one and we shall be Janet McCarthy. That sounds great. Okay. So, Vera's Sector adds a whole bunch of new starting options. So we have the usual Wolf and Wayfair, but we, and Explorer and Hammerhead. We have Freelancer, and we have more start options. We have a Hot-Headed Revolutionary, an independent deep space mining and salvage outfit, a Pirate Warlord, Radical Luddic Path, or back to the pre previous menu. So let me take a little... Let's see. So this gives you hammerhead. Okay, this is this is shoot things. I think I'm gonna go for mining this time, both because I don't. Let's see. This gives you a groundhog and a rock hound. I don't know what those are. I'm suspecting those are Vera ship pack ships. So let's go with deep space mining and salvage. Yes, got a groundhog, a rock hound, a badger class heavy tender, prospector class, and a shepherd. I love shepherds. Oh, and Independent Persian League Improved Relations. Great. Okay, well, this seems to be an exploration-themed fleet. So let's do exploration. Sure. I haven't done an industry playthrough in a long time. I'll have to dip into combat at some point, but let's start with a little bit of enhanced salvage. Yeah, that should be great. Okay, so here we go. Daha, I see one person watching. This is like a long time after my usual time and I haven't streamed in forever, but welcome. I hope you have a good time watching. Delete my Facebook account. It's probably a good idea. Okay, so here we are, we've started. Let's see, there's a mission, a survey mission. Corvus has a system bounty, so that's unchanged. Some other new intel. And hegemony bounty. Okay, okay. So I, I usually do a lot of bounties, but I should look at my fleet. This is an exploration fleet. I might not have the firepower to even take on... I mean, this is a really, really tiny, tiny bounty. Ooh, I have a huge fuel range. That's awesome. Yeah, I could I could do these ones. I mean, this is this is a really tiny fleet, but it's also only forty thousand. Let's see. How about there is an exploration mission, right? Okay, so this is this is easy money. There's an exploration mission right here. It's it's really close. It doesn't pay that much. It's only thirty thousand, but that at least subsidizes a nice trip out of the core wor worlds to this local local cluster and let's see that one's all the way over there so it looks like yeah we'll do this we'll do this exploration 
it's 120 days, so I can actually afford to like stick around a bit, see if any other missions in the area pop up. And how long is this bounty left? 89 days. It's a long way out. Might not be worth it. Let's take a look at this fleet. Okay, I see lots of uh, beautiful mining, mining hazard yellow. That's fun. So let's see. So this is a groundhog. Okay. So this is a civilian. Okay, this is a civilian great hull, but it's um, stats aren't bad. It's got good armor. It's got a shield. Shield is one efficiency. That's okay. Decently fast, got maneuvering jets. Okay, this this looks fine. Yeah, it's got a mining blaster. That's that's gross. Let's see, salvage gantry. Oh, salvage gantry, salvage gantry, salvage gantry. Oh, I have, I have a lot of so these have got surveying equipment. This has got salvage gantry. So this is a good exploration fleet to start, and a, a lot of little drone fighters too. Okay, well. Back to this ship, um, hardwired mining lasers. This hull integrates semi-modular modified mining lasers which will automatically be equipped whenever the appropriate weapon slot is left em empty and two OP are available. The laser can be switched between configurations by removing it from the hull that cannot be attached to any other ships. Oh, that's really cool. That is super swifty, okay. So these are like configurable built-in weapons. That's really neat. So our two choices here are we have a mining lance, a uh, little little burst thing, bad flux efficiency, bad range, decent per shot damage though. And the LR version, ooh, really, really long range. Just low, low DPS and still pretty poor efficiency. I think I'm gonna go Long range on the front, and bursts on the back. So hopefully these will catch catch salamanders. Okay. And we've resistant flux conduits, gas charge gyro, and automated repair unit. I'm I'm fine with that. Now is there anything? Yes, good. There's a pulse laser. All right, because mining blasters are just shit, especially with 250 dissipation. I can't support a mining blaster. Okay, so let's let's just see what this does against the uh, yeah, hound. Okay, so I'll just put this on auto fire. Um, it's pretty maneuverable. It's got a decent turn rate. So there are those LRs. They're just poking away. Oh, that auto aim. All right, I'm just going to back off. I'm activating my boosters, backing off. Oh, not paying attention. Overloading. Okay. So it doesn't really even have the flux capacity to support a pulse laser, but that's okay. It's kind of a converted mining ship. I think mainly it's the fact that I was missing so much. There we go. All right, so the assault chain gun is down. Okay, so it, it can win against a hound. It's not going to win any contests, but I, I can fly that. Let's see. Next we have a um, rock hound. Uh, it looks like a hound. Yep, but it has a medium energy, and it's got a front shield built in. Not a good one. Looks like it's a uh, kind of a makeshift shield situation, but it's built in, which helps for the OP. Um, mining laser. Oh, this is a, this is a non-built-in mining laser. This is like a normal mining laser. Sure. And a mining lance. Hands optics, huh? Well, fine. Sure, we'll just leave this for now. Now we have a tender with a nice destroyer-sized salvage gantry. And heavy plasma cutter. This is another new weapon. Ah! Hi, Viking Hag. Hi, Xanthalus. Kodai class. Let's see. I've never I've never I've never used the Kodai class. So I actually I don't have talent on this time. This is a purely uh, Vera's Sector and Vera's Mod Pack playthrough. I decided that since I've never played Vera by itself, I really should. Because, like, I don't know. When I when I have so many new mods, it's just hard for me to know exactly what's going on. But I know I know that this is Vera stuff. 
Um, yeah. Nice to see you again, Zentalus. Okay, so this is a ha heavy plasma cutter. It's short range. Ooh, 1,500 damage burst. That's pretty good. Uh, DPS is pretty good. Uh, rate ratio of 1.3 is not great, but it's okay. <laughs> sure, yeah, I'll... I'll give Talon... I've played kind of with Talon in the background, but I had a lot of mods active then, and I never got a real feel for what exactly Talon was. Let's see, this is a this is a particle streamer, uh, which is another beam. 800 range, uh, another burst beam, but this is a frag burst beam. Okay, these seem not that great, but okay, I guess. Um, and we have three built-in... Fighters, mining platform auxiliary, LR mining pod auxiliary, and hammer carry. Okay, so a little interesting. Okay, so we got kind of like a little fighter and bomber mix on this, but probably pretty low grade, judging by the fact that they're drones and they're low OP. There is one thing I noticed that I really want to do. This is a civilian grade hull, and it's only burn eight. So I'm actually going to kill the... Um, kill the range to get a militarized subsystem because I want to get my fleet up to burn nine um, I, I don't really want to have a early game fleet at burn at burn eight that sounds like a bad idea okay um, same deal here I'm gonna put on militarized subsystem even though I don't have access to advanced optics I feel like I have to okay so this has a uh, built-in Plasma Projector, 800 range, 400 damage. This is actually a pretty damn good gun. I mean, it's a, it's a beam. It looks like another burst beam, but it's pretty good. And same deal. Oh, Precision Mortar. God, so many new weapons. I feel like I'm just narrating new weapons at you. So, 8 OP. Far Cry from the Light Mortar seen on civilian craft and pirate raiders. The precision Mortar was developed only a short period before the collapse to refit, quote-unquote, obsolete. Ballistic armed warships for close support duty. Baryonic she yeah, I, I Flebtodium! Um, okay, good accuracy. So it's got 75 DPS, that's a little low. 800 range is rather high. 150 damage is rather high. So it's got good, good penetration, good range, low DPS, and efficient. Okay, so it pays for that in, uh, in OP. Again, I'm going to change my front weapons the lasers using this really cool hardwiring hardwired mining lasers um i got the small ballistic here i really want a light dual machine gun i think i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take that off um i don't think it adds very much in wow the dual flak on the back dual flak is a high grade weapon um eh, let's get rid of that eh. I mean, I got, I got PD. I'm just going to leave this empty for now. Because, um, I mean, look at this flux. Hammer is, hammer is fine. Hammers are nice torpedoes. Um, I really would love to have a light, some sort of light, medium range kinetic gun in this slot. A rail gun would be perfect, but I don't, I don't have access right now. So that is just going to be empty for now. Okay, and I'm just going to put the rest of these OP into... Maybe actually, hold on, I'm going to undo to get the advanced optics back. Since I know I'm taking these out, I'm actually going to leave the advanced optics on. Alright, so that was a bit of a that was a bit of a hack, just because uh, normally I don't have access to advanced optics, so I, I had to hit the undo button to do that. And normally I'm a big fan of maxing out vents, but this is really low capacity. I'm just gonna throw on. I'm gonna throw on like quite actually quite a bit of capacity. Okay, so this is kind of like a semi-combat, semi-support um, ship. Let me just see what this will do against like a pirate enforcer. So this is my this is my first time playing with these ships. Doing a bit of a bit of loadout. Okay, so there are those. So those are actually going to be really long range at this point. Between the advanced optics and the um, ITU, I think those are going to be something like 1400 range, which is a good poke. 
They're they're low damage and they're low efficiency, but that's that's a nice poke. So this is gonna be like a yeah, this is like my fire support, a little bit of a fire support destroyer, but I'm fine with it in that role. I mean, it's got no DPS, um, but it's it's getting a little bit of a lockdown here. Um, yeah, this is fine. It's it's you know this is a this is a crappy pirate enforcer, but it's fluxed it out, and it's done a decent amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, the ship's fine. Uh, let me just see how it does against, like, a Lasher. How does it do against something... Let me just see. Something quick. Xanthalus says, I've been doing a bit of a DME run, and I think that Chamois... Is that how you pronounce that? I'm, I'm terrible at French, French pronunciation. Chamois is a little too good as a mining ship with no mining lasers or mining drones. It's 52.5 mining rating. Wow. Is the mining rating... Is it, Whoa, this thing is really good against shieldless ships. That's that was that was brutal. What's the what's gonna be the range on that? Is the mining rating included in Vera Sector? Or is that a next thing? Because I'm actually not playing with next right now. So let's see. This is gonna be 800 range plus 20% for ITU is 960 plus 200. For, this is 1160 range. This is gonna be a rather good ship against Shieldlet. Mining is next. Okay. I decided not to play with next this time. Um, I just kind of wanted to have fun. I, f I find next a little stressful because of the random relations. You can get really in a hole by accident. And also, like, I feel like my recent playthroughs with Nex, I just kind of build up a death fleet and murder everything. And once you've done that four or five times, it's, yeah, you're kind of done. Okay, so, yeah, those fighters, they have the, they have that, looks like a high delay ion cannon. So it's like a claw light. This is a good ship. Oh, just look at that. I mean, it's, you know, it's exposing its aft because it's because it's spun out, but... And bang. This is a good ship. I'm really glad I gave it... I'm really glad I took these weapons off and kept the um, advanced optics. That was a good call. Now, this is actually only going to be six recovery costs because of militarized su subsystems. Um, cool. Now, I think I'm going to leave militarized subsystems off of these three ships, and that is going to give me a bit of a sensor penalty. But I think I should be at burn nine now. Okay, let's see. What what kind of cargo did I start with? I started with a lot of supplies. Wow. Um, good amount of cash, a lot of supplies. And I remember that it said that I had increased relations with into... Oh, 100. Hundo P. Keep it Hundo P. The Persian League I actually see neutral. I thought it said I got a boost, but it looks like Independence got a hundred boost. So I should be able to I should be able to buy anything at a, at an independent military market. That is really good to know. Okay, okay, okay. So where are the independent military markets again? I think ooh. The independent military markets are... I'm just kind of doing a quick scan here. Okay, there's one at Betis. That is good to know. Is that the only one? Is that the only military independence? If so, fine. I always, I always forget these things. There's a good number of independents. And... Yes, Betis is the only independent military, but independents don't need, um, they don't need commissions. So I actually have 100% access to that military market down there, but I only have 38,000. Okay, and I would rate my combat ability as a little low. I am going to need more heavy machinery. That's just how, that's just how it is. You need, you need to get some heavy machinery to start the game, and then you basically sell it off. Oh, cool. I did not know that about DME. That is really good to know. Okay, so there's a 75% water world. Cool. 
Okay, I am going to go. I have plenty of supplies. Um, I guess I might as well fuel up. I have... Uh, I don't know, I'm a little low on people. I'll just... Um, it, it does add to overhead a little bit. But I'm just going to grab a few more people in case I find any derelict ships. I think this is a pretty... I think this is fine. Ooh, I am a little... Okay, that's because I have so many supplies. That's why... God, I have too many supplies almost. How is this buffalo? Buckled environmental shielding. That's a, that's a new home mod. I almost want to buy it just for that, but... It's a little expensive. Um, I am a little low on cash. So I think I'm going to let this fleet ride. <laughs> I'm going to save. Cause I haven't actually saved yet. And I am going to do... Yeah, I could, ta I could take that. So we have one bounty out there. And, and this exploration mission. So this should be a really, um, should be a really, a nice start. Grab some cash, um, get a little bit of real combat. Oh, that's a pirate fleet. Right there, that's a pirate fleet. Is there a bounty going on in the system? No, there isn't. There's just pirate activity. All right, I, this isn't really a combat fleet. I have no combat sh skills. I think I'm just going to run from that. Asteroid impact on drive level, oh no. So off we go, going to our first um, first little exploration myth mission with a good exploration fleet. Okay, we got two more exploration missions just popped up. Are any of them in reasonable places? Uh, not really. Um, no, they're they're way out. They're way out in the middle of, of nowhere and not along my current vector. That's about to go. Got past it before it went. I am glad to have 18 burn speed. Okay, oops. I see a little ping there. This is probably a, a mild remnant system. I should see what level of remnant this is. And let's see, ship that locates some distance away from the center. Okay, all right. This is a low the low hazard system, I'll, I should be fine with low. Uh, I don't feel like fighting a pirate armada, so I'm going to stay away from that um, bounty. <laughs> I mean, just stay away from that distress. Or, okay, so there's a freaking astral here. God, if I can, if I can recover that, I don't. I mean, I've got a ton of supplies, but I don't have the infrastructure to support an astral. Oh, there's an Arab world here. I should um. I should see about, um, I think there's ruins or anything good here. All right, let me just, um, let's see, what was the mission again? A derelict shift. Okay, let me take a look at this astral. Um, quantity of transplutonic ore. Okay, so I can't, um, I can't salvage the astral, so that's fine. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already above my cargo because... This is not that valuable. Or you above my cargo because I had so many supplies. Um, is there a debris field? No debris field. Okay. Let's see. I am going to activate this nav buoy. Am I getting hit by the... Yep. Yeah, all right. Sure. So that should... That'll increase my speed if I have to lose my um, sustained burn. And it brings my sustained burn up to 20, which is always nice. You know, I'm just kind of scanning. Uh, whoop. Is that? Okay. So we got some stuff there, some stuff there, some stuff there. Let's see if any of these are our ship. No. The Cerberus. Hey, mining system! Mining stations. So mining stations often have um, good stuff. You can, you can get good stuff in the mining station. Uh, I don't care about metals right now. So where is that mining station? Okay, it's way, it's way the hell over there. Still, that's good to know. I'm just going to tag it so that I remember where that mining station is. Yeah, there's a whole bunch, whole bunch more stuff going on in this system. There we go. All right, just a few more supplies. Go 
check out this arid world. I do see a couple little ruins. Yeah, I got some ruins. This is 45 supplies, but, you know, I have so many freaking supplies. Let's see what we get. Widespread, that's not bad. And, eh, an okay world. I mean, it's got 150 hazard. But, um, 150 is not too bad, and DCIV actually gives a little bonus. Alright, this is not a great, not a great world, but, like, not a, not a horrible world. Quantity of harvested organs. Um, I don't have any cargo capacity right now. So I'm actually, I'm actually not going to loot this quite yet, because I want to get a tank, not a tanker, I want to get a cargo ship, because sometimes these things have, like, thousands of harvested organs. Sometimes. Sometimes it's like six. Okay, now I saw some sensor pings over here. Ew, it's right in, right frickin' in the star. Alright. I hope that's not... Okay, that's not my thing. I don't, I don't feel like tripping a nebula and a little remnant fleet in a corona. Nah, it's just not worth it. How long do I have on this mission? Because I'm actually, um... 95 days. Okay. And how long on that bounty? Oh, cool! Yeah, I heard about these other factions and things that can happen in, in Veras. So Xenthalus says, a cool thing with Veras Sector is that other factions can make colonization fleets and colonize planets. Um, yeah, and that's that's really cool. I want to I wanna see some of that. But I still have 65 days left, left on this bounty, so I'm, I'm going to explore more. I'm going to try to find this fleet. Um, let's give it another sensor ping. Okay, we got some stuff up there. We have a little redmond fragment. I don't, I don't think anything... I don't think a low hazard system is, is a threat to my, to my fleet. Let's see. I can hide in the debris field for another ping. Um, I didn't really see anything. What do we got? Plenty of supplies because we have we we have lots of salvaging buffs. All right. I'm just gonna head out a bit to this stable point. Did I build a sensor platform here? No, I need I need transplutonic and I need metal. I should take those with me next time. Oh, here we go. That was a bit if that's if that's our target, that was a bit lucky. Because normally I wouldn't go so far out. Nope, that is not our target. Jeez. Oh, pod! Hey, we get an officer. That's good. Alright, so who did we who did we get? We have gotten a completely useless officer. Ay. I am considering um. <laughs> well, maybe there's some hidden research thing on that planet that you just don't know about. But this officer, like, these are... Uh, helmsmanship is not a good skill. And they're timid. Am I really going to pay this person 1200 a month? Like, I don't want a timid officer. No, this person's gone. They have been, they haven't they haven't been spaced. I'm not I'm not role playing them being spaced, but um they are not under my employment. They are they are chilling in this in the I don't know, in the crew quarters. That's what they're doing. But I'm not paying twelve hundred a month for, for that officer. Hey, there's another one. There's a lot of freaking little ships in this system. Which I guess is you know, why Hey, I leveled up. When I leveled up. Um, I didn't space them. I'm just like, no, 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 no. You can hang out with the rest of the crew. I'm not paying you twelve hundred to to be timid. I'm Vera is good. Janet McCarthy is a good murder person, but only murder to pirates and you know anyone who you have to pay me to murder someone. I don't murder someone for free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep keeping on with this recovery stuff. So I'm just going to go a little further into, um, into industry. Hey, there's our mission. 
Cool. So there's our 30,000 credits that's going to um, subsidize our trip. I think this is... The cargo, pine, the cargo pod was like the metals and the fuel and stuff. All right, there's a little dormant. You know, let me just let me just kill this fleet. Um, I've got plenty of supplies. I want to get a little bit of combat experience going here. Um, this is a this is an over deployment. I just want to I want to get a little bit of real a little bit of real combat experience. See how many of these ships work together. And sometimes you get a gamma core. You know, sometimes sometimes you kill a kill a couple of frigates, you get a gamma core. It's worth thirty thousand. Um, long range interlocking point defense. That it's working really well, actually. <laughs> I did not murder the officer. So this Redmond figure is too powerful for me. I just don't have the flux capacity. I mean, you can see I'm basically fluxed out. But they were forced to back off. This person is surrounded by fighters. Um, actually, this long range... Ooh, nice, nice kill there. Whoop, ah, ah, bad piloting, bad piloting. I took my I took my finger off ship. So this is a great ship. Just look at that long range fire support. Um, it has to keep its shields pinned up. Um, yeah, this is great. A nice a nice little swarm of low performance fighters to keep things busy. A little bit of fire support, and I've got this um, not great but pretty maneuverable and pretty tough frigate. I like it. I like it a lot. Granted, I just paid 21 supplies for that. So, hey. Okay. Uh, didn't really get much. Oh, well. Nope. I got, got an ion cannon. Got a little bit of XP. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, I got a level from that. Sure. So you're just going to give me a level for a little couple frigates. Let's see. I'm going to get another 30, another 15% resources from uh, abandoned stuff. More rare stuff is more rare stuff. And you know what? Let me actually. This is this is a. You know, as people say, they want a feature in game to do this, and I really wouldn't mind. I'm actually going to make a note on a piece of paper, piece of paper, mind you, that in Bell. I have organs on the arid world, and once I have some cargo capacity, I'm going to come back because sometimes you get like two thousand, and two thousand organs is enough for a small colony. Okay, I figure um, I'm just gonna keep going on my little arc out here, and but but it, I, I'm done with this system. I think next I'm gonna do this Ludic Path bounty. It should be pretty easy, and I've got 50 days to do it. Yeah, cool. And let's see, they are has been posted in response to a recent rage against against Chickamaw's talk. How could you? Let's see. Uh, they're in an orange world. Orange star with a barren world uh, could be either of these, so I'll check this one first, and then I'll I'll head up. So this is um. Let me just do another sensor burst. Nah. Okay. Looks like we're done. So this is a possible colonization target. It's not a great world. Um, 150 with mediocre resources, but it's really it's it's quite close to the core. Its accessibility is actually pretty darn good, and it's got widespread ruins. They'll have a little bit of a pop pop growth bonus from uh, Decivilized. Yeah, it, it, honestly, honestly, I've seen worse. All right, let's let's head off. How's my fuel? I have fuel for days. Let us go over here. Oh, a hostile and a threat. I should have looked at that before I jumped in. Okay, well, I see the barren world. Oh, holy fuck, there's a Terran! Well, okay. Alright, alright. Oh, no, there's my bounty. But there, see a sisterhood. No, 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 don't, don't get killed. Good, good, they survived. So that was actually good for me. I hate it when remnants snap up the, um... I hate it when remnants snap up the kills. However, we got a, we got an incoming comm message. And this is a specially named fleet. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. No. They just wanted me to pay the titty. No. No, thanks. I'm actually here to kill you. I don't... I don't kill anyone. Just... 
people who I'm paid to kill. Now these are SO. This is a this is an SO brawler with um non-compliant gunnery core. I really need to recover some of these to see what the hell these demods do. Uh, but this is an SO brawl brawler with accelerated ammo field. I actually want to be a bit careful of this fleet. I think I could get nasty su nastily surprised. So I'm gonna do a full deploy. Uh, full deploy with a defend. And I'm going to go over there too. And I'm just going to kind of rely on these this fighters and beam spam. I might I might just try to keep the enemy at bay. Hey, that's a Reaper. Get away from my support ship. It doesn't have good shields. All right, and I'm going to back off now. Okay, good. I think I'm safe to do a quick vent. Those ion cannons are really proving themselves. Uh, oops. There's a freaking brawler down there. Wow, it's so fast. I think I think my rock hound's okay. I'm going to go over here and try to... Can I get this thing dead? There it goes. It's flamed out. There's the overload. There's the kill. I can get a quick vent. I'm far enough away. How are my ship's doing? The brawler is... Whew, it's kind of punishing the rock hound a bit. I am going to swing down there. I'm going to swing down to the down there and see if I can help. I think that brawler is too powerful for these ships. Um, but it doesn't have rear shields. So if I can get if I can get down there. Oof, come on, come on guys. Fire on that brawler. Oh, it's it's fast. It's faster than me. But it should have really it should have really low peak performance time. Honestly, what I need to do is just keep it away from my other ships. Oh, it activated its system. I'm going to bug out. There we go. Quick vent. Um, I can't beat this with my ship, but I can stall it. Quick vent. How's the rest of the fight? Uh, it's going pretty well. So this hound is about to die. It is. It did a little armor damage to my ship, but it, it, it doesn't have any shield, so it's going to die. Um, these are just drone tenders. As long as I just keep playing peekaboo with this brawler until it either gets its engines shot out. If it gets its engines shot out, I'm good. There it goes. Engines are out. Uh, I'm going to try to circle around. Nope. Still has too many engines. Oh, its CR is ticking down. There we go. Okay. It's flamed out. Its CR is ticking down. Now you're mine. There we go. Now I'm behind it. Uh, I think I am maneuverable. Nope, nope. It got away, but all right. Well, I did some damage. Gonna back off. As you can see, I'm just kind of like I just got my weapons on auto fire here. Uh, let's just get a fighter strike on this thing. I just I just need that ship to get popped. Actually, I'm gonna take off this defense order. I like these ships. These are not overly powerful combat ships. Like I'm, I'm you know, I'm I'm doing 1v1 versus a frigate with player piloting and I'm not winning. But it's good enough to be useful. I'm not losing either. All right. So I out I outrange it because it's SO. I can dodge a lot of the mortar shots. It's ticking down. I'll get I'll get it eventually. I haven't really taken any armor damage either, so like, it, I'm doing fine. Oops, I'm a little fluxed out. Shields off for flux. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I need to get away. Quick vent. Now, one of the tricks to a quick vent is as soon as you're safe to quick vent, you pretty much want to reverse course and actually get closer to the enemy. And usually by the time they're in range again, your flux is, is back down. But as long as you can get the AI not to vent, you're okay. Okay, come on. Like, this is where just having six points in combat gives you a 50% flux advantage, and I would be doing hard damage to its shields every time. Okay, I'm, I am going to win this fight. It's just going to take me a while. Right. Okay, I'm going to back off when it turns on its accelerated ammo feeder. Go. I'm actually going to 
I'm just going to vent. I don't, I don't think it has missiles left, so... Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for... Um, waiting for its CR to go down. A bit of a boring fight, but it had some exciting piloting in the beginning. How's my other ships doing? Oh, okay, I'm just going to slap an eliminate order down there. Let's just see if I can speed this up, because I don't... I don't want to lose too many supplies to CR drain. Oh, hello there. You're targeting me, are you? Let me just blow these... There we go. I do have this. The Shepherd's doing a nice job giving me a little bit of, uh, of drone cover. It's actually really nice. And now that it doesn't have missiles, I can pretty much just safely vent in its face. Especially because one of its guns is, uh, is overloaded. There we go. Oh. Gotta do a quick shuffle there. Because it, it has an engine out, so it can't keep up. Alright, and I can vent in its face again. Just dodge those mortar shots. Oh, I took one a little bit. Ah, jeez. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, we finally got this thing. It's CR it's almost CR'd out. It's got freaking 10% CR left. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Shield malfunction. That's good. I'm out of flux. I'm just going to vent. How are things going down here? Alright, you three, come on, just uh, finish getting your kills. This is a long, this is a long fight. This is an unnecessarily long fight. Um, even against SO ships. There we go! Finally got a kill. Vent again. Taking a little armor damage, but this frigate actually has 550 armor. It's pretty good. And we're just gonna... Alright, this is, it's just a shepherd. I am going to take a little bit of armor damage from these beams, but I'm okay with that. You can see my fire rate is... There we go! And I'm just going to dodge away from the beams. There we go. Okay, so let's see how many supplies that actually cost me. Oh god, it went down to 20% CR. It is like a slap fight, right? I mean, I've got no... Um, I've got absolutely no combat skills. I'm doing this kind of like hodgepodge mining fleet. Oh god, this is going to cost me so many supplies. So I got 34 back. I have some fuel. I'll take the weapons and just get rid of the ore. It's not worth it. The ore is really not worth it. Oh god, so that, that was 50 supplies worth because of all the CR loss. Oh well, it, apparently that was three levels worth. Let's Let's take a look at the combat analytics for that. Um, let's see, where's combat analytics again? Combat. So, um, okay. So yeah, Groundhog, which is the um, when I was piloting, it did a, I, fine. <laughs> You know, I have no idea if Aira has a mining mechanic. I should find a um, asteroid belt and see. But just like I thought, this was the real star of the show after me. We got four assists. Um, plasma projector did a good amount of damage. Yeah. This thing was a little, um, a little disappointing. But I did recover 32 supplies from that, so it's not like... Let, let's see. Let's see if they do. Uh, I'm not gonna, actually going to... So no, there's no mining operation. Let me find an asteroid. The asteroids aren't giving it to me. I don't know if asteroids in next do. Yeah, there's no dialogue happening on the asteroids. Let me save. So maybe there's no mi mining without next. I never, I don't really, care. like I know some people really like mining and especially if you're new to a game, mining gives you a way to get some income without you know, horrible fighting. Wow. So here's a Terran world. Okay. I mean, it's got extreme weather, but whatever. This is a 100% world without anything bad. With rich form. Okay, so I, f I found my first colony. It's, it, the farmland's going to make a decent amount of money. Um, the ore is going to make... Like, this has got two decent industries right there. Like, it's not, it's not great mining, but... 
it'll get me money. Okay, well, and it has, and it's really close to the um, core worlds. So I've gotten really lucky. I have a great first colony already found. Oh no, there's no stable points here. <gasps> no. Okay, well, there's the downside. I'm not going to be able to have a comm relay, so I'm going to have... Maybe I can... Can you build a comm relay in nearby systems? Maybe if I build a comm relay in Bell or Weaver, I'll be able to get... Um, I'll be able to get rid of the penalty. But I'm going to have a stability penalty here because of no comm relay. Okay. So there's there's one downside about this. There's one downside about this system. Um, all right, it's just a dram. That's fine. I'm gonna go kill. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this remnant destroyer. I should just be able to overwhelm it. Come on, come on, stop doing your little circle thing. <laughs> so this should be. Um, I'm still over deploying because remnant destroyers are actually pretty nasty, but they have a narrow shield, and I've got some ion damage going on. I've got some frigates. Um, I should be able to get a flanking kill. Plus, its variant is not too nasty. It doesn't have those dual reapers. Uh, let's just let it... I'm just going to let it waste its flux on the fighters. And just let... So this has a beam. I've got a beam. It, I'm... Sure, let me... I'll dart in, do a bit of damage. But I've got to be careful. I'm not in a heavy ship here. Uh, that's, that's the overload. Shit. I can dance away from the missile a bit. Can I avoid that missile? Yes! Yes, okay, so I avoided the missile, and the ion kept it uh, from shooting with the heavy blaster. So I got, I actually got out of that overload scot-free, but it was uh, <laughs> not a great idea. I should just kite this thing. These ships plus the ion can kite it forever. Yeah, just, just do your kite. Your kite thing. Um, something has hammer torpedoes too. There it goes. So that was actually really clean. Superior range plus ion took down that remnant destroyer really fast. Um, oh, hey! Okay, so I mean, no AI cores, but I will not say no to some heavy blasters. Yeah, I mean, heavy blasters are. I don't really have a ship that can have the has the flux cost to um to support them right now. But in terms of um in terms of future ships, heavy blasters are a solid choice in a lot of builds. Okay, uh, I got four points. Let's just get straight up to plus fifty percent rare items, and let's get to fewer demods and plus fifty percent fuel. Great. So I'm kind of doing a yeah, doing an industry playthrough. Okay, cool. Now I am gonna do a ooh, minor supply cache. Cool. Now I, I do want to get in range of a com relay to uh blah, 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 to see if there are any more exploration missions in this region. To build a comm relay, I'm going to need some transplutonics and some metal, though, which is eh, probably not going to happen. So maybe I should dip, dap, dip, dip, dap, dodge. I'm forgetting the dodgeball quote. There's a dodgeball quote somewhere in there. I should dodge back down to the core worlds to get an active sensor buoy and see if there's any more missions in the area. Uh, I got a, you know, I've gotten a good 70,000 from this run, not to mention a habitable world. I'll just, uh, I'll just pop over to Weaver. Let me just see if there's a third, like that's a good planet, but no stable points. Let's see if we can hit the lo lottery in Weaver, although I only see one planet. I mean, it's an error, it might be a good world. Two stable points. I don't see any ruins. Uh, 175, not great. Heavy High gravity is an especially bad one. But we'll do the survey. Yeah, it's not great. Cool. 
Quick sensor bursts. Yeah, there's some stuff out in the asteroid belt. Hey, mining station. Glad I checked. Now, how am I on cargo space? Meh. I mean, not not great, but I can I can dump the transplutonics. So, real. I mean, let's be honest. All that really matters is the rare stuff. Okay. Not a not a great haul, but not terrible. So Gamma Core, I can sell that for thirty thousand in a tri tech. Got some LP seeds, including converted hangar. That's always a nice one. That's actually a pretty good, yeah, a pretty good set of LPCs. And more than enough supplies and fuel. Let me dump those for more heavy machinery. I mean, you know, I'm just kind of leaving the stuff on the table, but. It is the rarest stuff that matters. I mean, a single nano forge is worth a lot more than these. Let's keep looting. Hey, so there's there's that corrupted nano forge. Nice. Um, I might as well grab some more supplies. Sure. I mean, why not, right? The only thing having more supplies costs is supplies. And I am just going to top up to 125. These these are actually fairly valuable. <laughs> yeah. You know that's a good point. I could I could have used this as a freighter to and subsidize my freighter because I, I you're right I do have those organs. I gotta um I gotta investigate those organs. This is a couple thousand in. No, it's 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 just not worth supplies. Supplies are supplies are life. And I'm probably I'm probably out. But every once in a while you get something really good on the last one. Okay, nope. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Um And I'm just gonna You know, I am actually gonna need these when I colonize, so I'm gonna take the one time hit. Uh, it'll take me a while to burn off the supplies that this costs, but um I do want a, a couple hundred. All right, let's do a quick sensor burst. Probably nothing else in this system, um, but every once in a while you get a lot of stuff in the system. So I'm gonna do a quick, um, a quick tour, quick three-hour tour. Yeah, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to buy that heavy machinery eventually anyway. So I, I lose some supplies by being over, over supply cap, but that just happens. Uh, There's a debris field out here. I'm gonna do one scavenge. Yeah, there's some ships here. Um, I don't really want to kite S, but there is a... You know, all it's got is compromised armor. That's not a terrible one. Um, yeah, you're actually right. I should grab the kite S for extra storage. For all, all 30 of its cargo capacity. But I actually do think I am going to take this bruiser. Sure. Wow, it's got three medium ballistics. Shit. So this should make a little... It's slow. Okay, so it's slow, but I'm okay with slow. Okay, so even with that enhanced... Ca I immediately filled it with extra supplies. Um, let's just take a look at these things. So... Its armor, its armor is compromised, which is, you know, it's kind of no good, but that's okay. I don't have medium ballistics right now. But I can at least, like, I can just slap the, I can just slap the, some guns on this thing. And that'll free up storage space, which is kind of silly, but hey. Okay, so this is the, um, I'm going to put on uh, the stable injector. And I don't know. Silly thrusters. We'll make this a make this a speed, speed demon crap ship. All right, there we go. Anything else? I mean, might as well throw hardened subsystems on it. Sure, good enough for me. Good enough for Jazz. Yeah, I mean, honestly. 
shirt. It is really shitty shit. Shitty ship, but it's a hull. This has no weapons, so it doesn't matter. Oh, this one has increased maintenance, but maintenance is only four. But the main thing is this is actually burn eight. I don't like that, but I can't put military subsystems on because I'm not at a dock. Ah, fine. I'll just I'll just haul it. I'll just haul it with me. Whatever. Okay, I think it's time for me to get out of this system and get back in range of a com relay. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy a cargo ship. I am going to see if I got some weapons. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that pulse laser actually. It's just that, you know, this is a mining ship, it just doesn't have the um it doesn't have the flux for energy weapons. It really just doesn't. Okay, so back to Ailmar I go. Hello, what are you? We have something floating in hyperspace. Hey! Got a pod. Hey! I got an, I got an officer. Hopefully they won't be they won't be timid. Ugh, they're cautious. Well, it's got pretty good skills. Fine. All right, you can go on. This is a fire support vessel. Cautious is appropriate. Fine. You can you can you can have that ship. <laughs> you know, I mean, on the one hand, it sucks because no mining, but. It's honestly this, these salvage gantries. Like I get, I have a plus forty-seven percent um, salvage, and burp, and post and, and nine percent post battle. So it's a good exploration fleet because it. Like I mean, you just saw that I was just throwing away supplies and fuel there. So I think this is a fleet that basically can stay out forever until its cargo fills up. Okay. So there is some pirate activity in Westerneth, so I should be a bit a bit careful. Um, there's gonna be some pirates in here and there might be some pirate fleets that are actually dangerous to me. Hmm. Okay. Now is there a is there a bounty on the there's no bounty on the system. Ooh! There is a pirate base up there. There's, I am not equipped to deal with pirate bases right now. That is in the Urid system. I should be careful. I do intend to keep exploring this constellation, but I need to be careful about that base. See, there's a high value target over there with that nice, beautiful, unique eagle, but no way in hell I can do that. I uh, got, some, got some bounties over here. I am interested in, in doing more exploration, though. What do we got? Oh, in the ble in the wreckage of Lesser Walkets, your crews found a partially accessible memory bank containing information that indicates a world with extensive ruins. I did not catch that when it happened. Okay, so there's a ru there's a world with extensive ruins in Alpha Arwald. That's good to know. I missed that. I, maybe I like paged through. That's a pirate fleet. <laughs> really, yeah. It's true. Well, luckily, I, pirates are pirates are scary when you're fly, flying just like mining ships. Luckily, however, I am not. Um, I, I'm not playing with Underworld. So I, I don't have to deal with that. Underworld would be brutal. Uh, reckless. Uh, impact defensive systems and gunnery implants. Yeah, you're a good officer. Get in my fleet. What do we have for sale? Um, looking for a nice uh, Buffalo D is back. Looking for a nice cargo vessel. What's a bad? What's the cargo capacity on a Badger? Oh shit! It's got 300. That's the same as a um. It's the same as a Buffalo. Actually, maybe I should just buy that badger. So in terms of, in terms of fuel per cargo, that's pretty good. I mean, it's the same as a buffalo. What the hell are you, Spade? Huh? 
Oh, a little derp ship. All right, sure. Little little derp ship. That's fun. Oh no! I forgot about Kadur. Okay, well I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to add them. I, I'll I'll ping Vera and make sure that I can add them to an existing save since this one's been going so well. But yeah, next next time I stream, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add Kadur back on. Oops! Can't believe I forgot that. Jeez. Okay. Thank you for letting me know about that. All right. I am going to... Oh, so here's this prospector, too. So this is my fire support ship that was doing really well in fire support. Um, am I going to keep a theme going and buy both of them? I don't really have the money to buy both of them. Let's see. This one has surveying equipment, and this one has salvage gantry. Um... Honestly, I kind of like this one better. Let me check. Look, you know, we have we have data for this. Let me look at the combat logs. So, really, this was my only real fight, and this ship was bottom of the pile. Um, I wonder if I wonder if the fighters didn't uh, didn't register. But I really I really like that prospector, and cheaper it has no d mods and cheaper surveying equipment is always good so you are yeah you are mine get into my fleet you expensive thing okay and i'm actually gonna i'm just gonna sell this there's no reason no reason for me to keep that um okay here we go let me just do what I did last time and turn the front ones to mining lasers. It's got its built-in thing. Unfortunately, I don't have access to either of the range boosters yet, so this is not going to be long range, but I can um, annihilate a rocket rack. Zero OP. Oh, it's only got 10 ammo. Okay, so this is a zero OP light missile. Eh, that's interesting. I'm actually just going to put some annihilators on front. And railguns! Excuse me. Excuse me. All of your railguns do belong to me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so... so uh, Yeah, I said I wanted a railgun in that, in that turret. I meant it. I also don't really think that much of these precision mortars. They're not... They're support weapons, but they're not really my jam, as it were. I'd much rather have railguns, especially with, with beams. I'm actually going to take these precision mortars off. Um, a firing arc in this thing. It's a good firing arc. You're going to get a railgun. I'm already way overfluxed. <laughs> oh, interesting. The drones would just sit on top of the ship. Well, that's no good. You're cautious, huh? Yeah, cautious is fine for this ship. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Did you try a reckless officer with it? Because <laughs> I've, I've got a reckless officer to, to, to share with you. Okay. I am going to give this... I only got 9 OP left, and I really, it really could use... Um, like, it really could use more OP. I don't know, I'm just going to... So that's a that's finally some decent flux statistics. Um, do I want to give it two railguns? If I give it two railguns, then the railgun weapon group will have three hundred flux. That's acceptable. So okay, so I'm gonna give it two railguns. And there we go. That's a really weird variant. Um, sure. Okay. <laughs> I 
so here we, here we do. We, we new variant, kind of weird. Uh, ordinance expertise, defensive subsystems. Let me just see what this does to that enforcer again. It's got a little bit of a better weapon load. It's got an officer now. It's leaving a couple slots blank. That's fine. And it's got it's got a lot of weapon slots for uh, for its OP. So I I really don't mind leaving them blank. You are you cautious? You need you need to get into railgun range. But God, look at how much it does not have a great shield. This one reaper strike did almost all of the shield. Okay, let me just get let's get an engage order on. You're just not good. You're a cautious officer. Oh, I hate cautious officers. Let's freaking put an eliminate order on. Okay, so there's the railgun. We're finally in railgun range. As always, cautious officers are completely useless. You know what? It's just not worth it. The cautious AI is so poor. It's not worth having a cautious officer on anything but a carrier. Yeah, I shouldn't say the cautious AI is poor. The cautious AI is just 100% Stay at maximum weapon range. Don't close in. And I just don't like that. I'm noticing that only one railgun is firing at a time. Is that because of the flux costs or the weapon arcs? Oh, there it goes. And there's the overload. might seem a little funny, but the arcs, the, yeah, the arcs no good. Okay, so that, that really just shouldn't be a, um, yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use the, uh, use the Sparrow P for flux. Let's try that one more time. Da, 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 da. So still got the long range beam support. Only I got rid of the two precision mortars and added a railgun. Which honestly should significantly improve its its capabilities. And there's the overload. Because it really it's it's its shield and point defense are quite poor. It has these built-in point defense lasers, but they're not good. I'm considering I'm considering maybe if I can find some some normal point defense guns, I'll swap them out. That's a nice this is a nice built-in though. It's a really it's a really good built-in. It's got good burst damage, good hull damage. But there we go. Now it's now it's going the way I want it to go. The railgun is is dealing with the shields when it rises up. Um, Ion is keeping some lockdown, and built in is doing damage. Okay, so this is this is a pretty successful variant. Um, yeah. Cool. Can I just get anything to replace these mining lasers? I suppose I could make them the mining lance variant. And that would at least keep their range low. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep them. It's fine. It's fine. Now you'll get the cautious officer, which is unfortunate, but these things happen. You'll get a railgun to complete that loadout, but you don't have any range boosters, so this will be, in general, a closer loadout. It needs militarized subsystems. Let me get it some decent caps and stuff. And do, uh, let's see, these are going to be lances. Alright, now I do have, I actually do have some OP free here, just because it doesn't have these range boosters, and I don't have the ability to put on those range boosters. I could give it cargo holds. Like, I could, I could give it some out-of-fuel stuff. I mean, some out-of-combat stuff. Hmm. I think... I am just gonna slap on 
I'm just going to slap on a couple Vulcans. Might seem kind of a weird choice, but that's just to give it better point defense. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to um, make these LMGs. So if something tries to something tries to hit it from close, uh, these will help push back, help do some shield damage. Um, I'm really worried about things like sparks. LMGs are good against sparks. Okay, so now let's see. This is a shorter ranged variant. Uh, let's just give it. Ah, sure. Let's just give it the same little stress test. Um, I think it's super important to have high caps and high vents on a ship with such poor base stats. But we got Kinetic, we got Burst, we got Ion, we got HE. It's a balanced loadout um, with a little bit of close-in DPS in case something tries to swarm it. So it's cautious, so it's just going to dick around. Whatever. Fine. Fine. I'm probably going to fire that officer. Okay, now we have this um, Bruiser, which I should put actual uh, guns on. Sure, we're going to make this an anti-pirate bruiser, so it's going to have a pair of heavy mortars. That's a good efficiency and quite a lot of DPS. Okay, so... Oh god, I'm, I'm so over... Uh, Alright, take that off. We can put a Vulcan on the back. This is mainly for salamanders, because this is front shielded. That's front shielded. Okay. Let's see, injector, hardened subsystems... I'm considering... What's his peak performance time? 300 is enough. So this is something I, like, very rarely do. But I'm actually going to put reinforced bulkheads on this ship. And that's because it, it's not that beefy a hull. And it's got compromised armor. And because you're going to get my reckless officer. Yes, you are. All right. So this is a loadout I just pulled out of my ass. Let's see how it does against a combat freighter. Hopefully, with all this HE damage, it'll kick its ass. Yeah, enforcers suck. Granted, that was a pirate enforcer, so it had bad weapons and I think full mods. But um, enforcers are bad ships. The only, the only way that an enforcer is good is that... Um, Interesting. The flux is actually a bit of a problem here. It's just that freaking assault chain gun. Assault chain guns are super, super, super powerful. And if I had them, I'd put assault chain guns on this thing instead of heavy mortars. I'd run SO assault. Yeah, but I, I don't have access to assault chain guns. Yeah, enforcers suck. They just do. They're just bad ships. They, they don't have enough base stats. They don't have enough... Um, too many crew. They don't have enough base stats. They don't have... Their shield is so bad that it's a liability. Yeah. Okay, now I've got two class 5s and a class 4. So there's an extra 70k from that exploration mission. That's nice. Oh, I suppose I could sell off the Croft Nano Forge, but I'm not going to. This is another 30,000 at TriTac, but I'm not at TriTac. Uh, I don't need those. I'll just keep the precision mortars. I don't want that. There we go. And I've got 100,000 now. So I actually am going to buy the Badger. It's got 300. It's it's got 300 cargo holds. So why would I why would I want a Buffalo instead of a Badger? It's got surveying equipment built in. Actually, you're you're going to get the officer. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I think I'm going to load this out in much the same way. There's militarized subsystems. Although maybe maybe I can find some better... No, I don't have anything better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I get if I get assault chain guns, this is going to become a, an SO player boat. You're absolutely right, Xenthalus. Now, I think I'm going to get rid of this heavy plasma cutter on both of them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of these pulse lasers because I, I need the efficiency and the range. Yeah, 
and LRPD. <laughs> no. Single LRPD really doesn't do anything. It's going to be a Vulcan. And we're just going to stick that into capacity. So there's here's our loadout. And actually, I'm, I'm not even going to put the hammer pot on. The AI does not know how to do a... Um, it does not know how to do a sideways, a sideways hit. So that's, that's just wasted OP. Yeah, like, if this is a harpoon pod, I'd totally put a harpoon pod on this thing. Um, that sounds great. Okay. All right. So this should at least have the firepower to protect itself with a pulse laser and the particle streamer. Um, oh, I can... What am I doing? What am I doing? I can put a railgun on this thing. Let's see, what is the particle streamers? I'm actually going to do... Um, yeah, here we go. Railgun and particle streamer. And that's it. That is the loadout. So I have massively reduced the armament on this thing. And honestly, I think it's going to help a lot. Um, oh. Okay, so I did not realize these are compo these are these are hybrid mounts. Um, if I find some decent medium kinetics like HVDs, these are going to get HVDs. Um, there's no reason. There's practically no reason to ever mount an energy gun when you can mount a kinetic. Usually, there's some specialty cases like an ion beam is something you might mount, maybe, but in general, kinetics are just better. Um, okay. You are going to get a single harpoon. You're going to be one of those, and you're going to be a railgun. Militarized subsystems, and there we go. So this is this is my loadout. Um, not great, but converted mining ship. Really, I want some medium kinetics. If I got some medium kinetics, I think I can make a pretty pretty good loadout of this thing. But those two ships have significantly increased my, um, I got five fighter wings out of it, even if they're derpy ones, and I got 550 more cargo capacity. Great. Let's see. People. I can buy more people. Get 100 more people. Eh, I'll just get 30 more. Should I get some Marines? They're kind of cheap, actually. Oh, test to see if the fighter wings deploy when it's solo. Sure. Actually, I, sh I should I should just test to see if it's, like, capable of anything. All right. Destroyer with three wings versus a single hound. Go. So it's set to engage mode. Huh. So there they go. There they go. They're engaging. Ooh, that was, a, that was a poor vent. Why would you vent at that point? God, look at that terrible auto-aim accuracy. They seem to be they seem to be engaging. Um, it, like, it's set to regroup mode right now because the bombers are coming back, but it, now it's set to engage. So the AI is attempting to engage with its fighters. Um... God, that pulse laser is such a waste of... The, the auto-aim is really bad. But, I mean, it's a hound. It's a hound that's, like, flitting around. Okay, I'm fine with this. It finally has enough flux to almost support its weapons. Let me just see what this particle streamer does against a hound. I mean, the thing is 300... The thing is 300 cargo capacity and a salvage gantry, so... I really can't complain. <coughs> Excuse me. I really can't complain that it's kind of shit balls in combat. Because, like, what do you expect? Alright, particle streamer. Hey, it's pretty good, actually. There's that burst beam versus an unshielded ship. That's what I'm looking for. Great. Okay, I'm quite happy with my fleet. Alright, one of you is going to 
scan me now. Come on. Why are you running? Suspicious cargo? Eh, whatever. Although I don't want to lose my 100% rep with, with independence. So maybe I should actually turn down the, um, the black market stuff with independence. Yeah, I agree. I just don't I don't have another one of those particle streamers because this is, this thing is really the heavy plasma cutter is really short ranged. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, a quick check at some of the other worlds. Ooh, survey desert world. Desert worlds are fun, and it's right there. Hey, cool. All right, that is a free forty thousand in the direction I'm going. Very happy with that. And I definitely don't have enough to take down a pirate base. These are just not combat ships. Hey, four mercenary officers. What do we got? Steady carrier. Okay, that's good to know. We have steady missile. Missiles are good. Aggressive gunnery implants. Yep. And cautious. I am going to buy the, the Steady with Missile, and let's see, well I can't have Identical Twins and I hate Cautious, so the second officer that I found floating in deep space, I'm going to get rid of. I just, I just don't have any, I don't have room for Cautious officers, there's no point. Okay, so you can... Let's see, you are the one with the long range. Yes, so you'll get you'll get this one. And you are the one without the long range. You'll get that one. Cool. So there's there's some officers. That's always good to always good to find. And not a you know, at some point I might stock up on some AM blasters and stuff, but not right now. I'm I'm okay. I could buy the heavy maulers and turn these ships into heavy mauler support vessels. That's an interesting idea. So it would be like one heavy mauler, one railgun. And just see how it does. I mean it saves me a hell of a lot of flux. Right? So the particle streamer is, is 326. No, it's actually only, it's only 174 flux per second. So the particle streamer is actually a pretty good gun. Um, I am going to do it instead of the... Um, yeah, I'm going to put a heavy mauler instead of the... instead of that. And that that brings my flux dissipation down. It gives me a thousand range. Yeah, I like that. Cool. I'd rather have HVDs, but... I'll take it. And eh, no, 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 I'm not going to buy them right now. Okay, and... Pirate base, that's always fun. And you are offering me a food deal, no thanks. Um, and food is pretty low profit in terms of a trade deal. Like, you know, it can subsidize your, your travel. And that's always good. You're going to scam me too? Screw off. I bought, like, one gun on the black market. And there's another mercenary officer. Yeah. Good officer. And I suppose... Um... You'll do. You'll get bonus experience, at least. I mean, these are good hull mods. Efficiency overhaul and augmented drive field. I mean, efficiency overhaul is is purely for non-combat ships, though. Hey, there's my assault chain guns. Doink. I feel like every time I go somewhere new, I gotta re, I gotta respec. Okay, so we're gonna lose all this stuff. We're gonna get safety overrides. You're going to get salt chain gun. You're going to lose your bulkheads. Salt chain gun and you're going to get a just a normal LMG. I 
do I do want the capacity. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna fly you. What's this thing's shift system? Flares. Fine. Ah, so we. I got. I got. I got. Ninety-nine seconds. All right. So there's. I'm just firing my. Oh, it's so much more powerful. And I'm fast enough that I can just back off. Now it is, you know, even with SO, the dissipation is not 100%, but that's fine. Coming on the end goal. Leading my target a bit. Turning off my shield. I do wish I didn't have the compromised armor. Uh, I'm just going to back off. Let the flux go down a little bit. Now I note that that thumper is still down, so I don't I don't have to worry about fire from this quarter. I dodge most of the thumper shots there. Flux goes down, shields go up. Oh, beautiful. Now, yeah, I'm going to keep the dual assault chain guns. I'm a little low on kinetic damage, but if I'm going to be fighting pirates, that's good. You're fine. You can be reckless, right? You'll be fine. I hope... I like this ship. I hope the Reckless doesn't blow it up. Okay. Well, then. That was a nice little, um, excursion. I don't want to start stockpiling weapons so soon, but Assault Chain Guns just... Oh, they're so good. Okay. That's it. I need to go exploring. Um, I'm not going to buy fuel, since I seem to be finding more fuel than I need anyway. Quick save... And let's get going. No, my independent relationship. Now, there was some stuff I wanted to do. Um, right, there's a there's a desert world. It's just like hanging out there. So why not? I suppose I'll just I'll just hit up this white dwarf along the way. Oh, but I was gonna get those organs. All right, how much how much time do I have on that contract? I have 117 days. I'm gonna go get those organs first. Uh, if I'm lucky, it'll be a big haul. Let me start another ship. All right, nope. Damn, so much stuff floating around. If I'm lucky, the organs will be a big haul, and I'm turning right around. But if not, um. Yeah, I got 600-ish, 600-ish sensor space. Okay, the arid world's over there. That's a probably a pirate from that pirate base. I do want to avoid that. All right, here's the arid world. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Oh, we got a wasp. That's not bad. <laughs> there's the salt chain gun. Ooh, a Fancy! It has tentacles on the sprite. No, they're like add-ons. Jury rig pulse laser deliberately underclocked in order to account for manufacture. Partial deep corrupted blueprint. Okay, we got 200 extra range, half the DPS, half the damage, worse flux efficiency. So a long range, long range, low damage LRPD laser. That's fine. Hey, and hey, there's the augmented drive field. 554 organs. Very nice. Yeah. Don't really know what else to say, other than, um, what a healthy boy you are. So many organs. Uh, cookie, cookie for anyone who gets the reference. So I suppose, I mean, that's it, right? Now I go back to the core worlds. Don't get pulled over by the cops. Oh, I think I do have, I think I do have shielded cargo holds on a couple ships. Do I, do I have shielded cargo holds on these guys? Um, there we go. So you've got shielded just that. Okay, so not enough for 554. I kind of want to stay out of Westerness, as Westerness then, just because I think I think the cops are looking me for, for me there. I think I dodged a patrol. Let me see if Captain Starworks wants organs. 
and at the very least, um, at the very least, once I'm in calm buoy range, I can. Yeah, okay, I'm in calm buoy range. Let me check the prices. Oh, seriously? No, nowhere has a shortage of organs? How bizarre. Huh. That's a little disappointing. <laughs> what a healthy boy you are. So many organs. Yeah, yeah. It's really dark when you find the, the cryopods and they're like, well, you get organs. It's like, oh god. I'm gonna go... I don't know if I believe that there's absolutely no... There's absolutely no... Um, places with shortages. I'm just gonna check out Captain Starworks. Um, as long as I can sneak in. Yeah, no. No transponder. We're, we're, we're sneaking into a pirate base here, folks. I don't, I don't want to get fried. I do have this one contract I do I need to do, but I have 104 days, so I'm okay. <laughs> you can see that <laughs> there's there's fighting happening here. I'm just gonna dip in. So 258. Huh, it's not a great not a great price. But apparently no one is no one is short. I don't care about the black market here, so fine. 106,000. Easy profit. Um that was actually really nice. Oh, it's not integrated into the, the Huh. It's not integrated into supply and demand. You'd think they'd do that. It's it's actually not hard. Um Okay, how are marines here? They're kind of expensive. I don't think I need marines for anything. Although there's this... I did read something about ghost ships. And maybe ghost ships will want um, marines to take care of them. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything here I want. And nothing really goes with my fleet theme. I need to sell off... I need to sell off that thing. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use these. They're taking up cargo space. Okay, away I go. There I go, all of my organs. All right. Oh God, there's so many officers. Okay, well, I'm. Am I happy with my? Am I happy with my officer corps? I have reckless, aggressive, steady. Aggre yeah, this is a fine, fine set of officers. I guess. I guess that's it. Let's see. I no longer need to fear getting pulled over. But I also have no real reason to turn my transponder back on. Let me just get the hell out of this system before a pirate finds me. God, I always get nervous near jump points. I miss not having transverse jump. Okay, time for me to go back out. I got um, I got this hideout up here. I have a survey in desert world, and I have to explore this system. Interesting. Well, not all, um... Sorry, I just want to find where this is. I was withdrawn. Okay. I mean, if it's a... Let's see. The, the solar collector, you say that only one building creates demand for it. Is it a custom good that it makes? Because I actually was playing around with industries a little bit. It's kind of a pain in the ass to, um to wire new industries in because they don't or, or new supply demand in you have to overwrite base game files and it's not shit there's a lot of habitables in this constellation it's not the nicest thing in the world so like if they're doing a custom good 
a little bit of a pain in the ass to get everything everything hooked up. Um, this is not a very good world. You know, it might have class four. Eh, class three. All right. Well, that that wasn't worth it. But are you sure those are added by next next? I didn't. I didn't think next added buildings. I haven't, I haven't played very much recently. I organized that tournament, and that took up a lot of my star sector time. Ew. All right, anything else? All right, the systems. The systems a bust. That's fine. <laughs> well, if it's next, I, if it's next, I'm a little surprised. God, my my monthly cost is up to 10k. I guess that's the, um, you know, that's the downside to getting your officers, is that your monthly costs go much higher. Now, that's the pirate base, so I want to stay away from there. But, um, this looks like a pretty big system. We have an ice giant. Ice giants sometimes have really good volatiles. We have a desert world, which not only is it, um, not only is it going to pay us, to get the survey data, but it might be a good world. You never know. Ooh. No ruins. It's really big. It's probably high gravity. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good world. Uh, yeah. But we got paid for it. So that is okay. Uh, I got a point. I got a point, and I'm kind of full on the industry that I want. Um, I don't have any colonies yet. I don't. I don't need these. Oh, it's shadow yards. Okay. I don't really want any of these right now. I mean, I could get this for recovered ships. Um, I just don't have that many demons so yet. Like, if I start recovering a lot of ships, I may, I may need the demon reduction skills. And the level two, okay, the level two, 50% of hull and armor damage taken repaired. That's a really good skill. So I am going to, um, sure. I will take, I will take three points in field repairs, but then I should get out of industry for a while. Okay, so it's shadow yards that adds them. It's, it's hard to hook. Ew, yeah. No, this isn't worth it. We're not colonizing here. There's no ruins. It's a bit hard to to hook different mods' uh, industries together because you get null pointer exceptions like the the instant something isn't right, and then you need to start. You know, you you have to add checks to your mod to check if the other mods are enabled, and it's just kind of a. It's not impossible. It's just kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm, I'm not too surprised that Shadow Yards isn't integrated. That is something that they should do. Gal Paladin? Gal Paladin, why are you a high... high no, because Vera's friends with him, that's why. Vera's actually making a... making an important target... high-value target for me, too. Um, but I'm actually really happy. Hey, okay, so this is, here's a custom bounty. High-value bounty... Um, <laughs> oh, so these are the custom portraits. Ah, I see. So Vera's putting their custom portraits um, in her high-value bounties. Okay, that's cool. Okay, wanted, dead or alive, by order of high he hegemon Baikal Dodd, the notorious pirate known as Gal Paladin is wanted for crimes against the hegemony, including piracy, smuggling, Unsanctioned heroism, unlawful activities, conspicuous charity, illicit rescue activity, thought crime, and conspiracy to avoid prosecution. Significant reward, 69,000 credits. That's on purpose, wasn't it? Um, hire near an arid world in a system with a yellow primary star in the Sergana constellation. Um, there's only one yellow... All right, she's down there. And let's see... Personally commands the Blood Dog, a Blood Dog class tramp freighter. Well, that's unique. Um, whole bunch of hounds. Blood Orange combat freighters. 
<laughs> they're hound days. Um, ooh, and there's a classless mark three. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this orange star and then I'll. I mean, the bounty doesn't expire, so I don't I don't have to do it right now. But I've got a like I've got a fine little fleet for dealing with pirates. But that many hounds could be a, could be a problem. Oh, hello. Who are you? You have an exclamation point. Are you a bounty? What kind of bounty are you? There's no other bounties in this system, and you're not... Oh, okay. So they have a... They have a... Oh! This is a distress call. It's a real distress call. Alright. Here you go. That's new. I'm amazed you survived. And they're fighting the remnants. They're going to get killed by these remnants. Um, well, it sucks to be you. No, 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 no. I'll help. Fine, fine, fine. Nice head. Trust me. Oh, stupid. Oh, well, they're dead. It's too late. I didn't get my transponder up in time, and I kept sustained burning back and forth. They're dead. Well, say la vie. At least they paid me. I'm a terrible independent. Okay, uh, there's only one planet here. I might do a scan of the rings real quick just to see if um, I can get anything out of it. Let's see, this is a completely unremarkable rock. Um, yeah, it only cost me 15 supplies, which was probably too much, but okay. I, I really think this is an empty system. I'm just going to do a quick loop around the star, see if there's any facilities hidden in the in the uh, rings. Okay, let's get out of here. Ain't no thing. Completely out of fuel. Because I'm an idiot. Well... There were some remnants up here. I gave them fuel. <laughs> I gave them fuel without even like looking. All right, let's go harvest harvest some remnants. Um, it's fine. This is way too much. But I just don't want to lose ships to remnants. All right. And we're going to stick together. I suddenly don't feel so fast. Aha! There's the... Okay, the ion took down the... Ion took down the engines. And I've got two assault chain guns, so that's, that's it. That is it. And we don't need this anymore since there's only one enemy. It's got a heavy blaster. I will probably get that heavy blaster. But what I really want is the fuel. I can't believe I didn't even look at my fuel. This is an amateur hour here. Okay, this so. My ships are now significantly more combat effective than they were now that I've traded out the weapons. So there's really... Hey, 47 fuel. There's really no need for me to be quite so timid in terms of deployment. I can deploy less, fewer ships and, and get the job done. Although the, the the ion, um... oops, I was not even looking. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me. The ion fighters were super, super, super good. I guess it's a good thing I'm drifting in the right direction. There we go. Oh God, glimmers, lumens, I should say. 
There we go. Shields down. Yeah. Cool. Eleven fuel. Hey, leveled up. And last one. Are you gonna run? You are gonna run, and it's not worth me emergency burning after you, so. Yeah, the, the flares are only like 50%. Good enough. I think I have enough. Ew, I really don't. Alright. Alright, time for me to save. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go punk some pirates. At least I can probably sneak in and and fuel up. I can't kill that base, but I can I can sneak in and fuel up. So. Ooh, that's a, that's a big bounty. So you're way too big, and you're way too far away. That's fine. Okay, what do we got? All right, there's the pirates. They're defending that waypoint. Uh, looks like the base is down there. That's cool. Not much cover. Not much cover for sneaking in. There's really not. Um... <laughs> I mean, like, I can probably take a small pirate fleet. That is a one-module high-tech station. You know, I can probably take a one-module high-tech station. I don't know if I can take one and a fleet. A hey, U. Okay, I just need to take off... These are not big fleets. These are small fleets. I might... I just saved. I am going to go hunting a bit. Except that they keep running for me and I'm really not that fast. Okay, emergency burn, there you go. I'm in, I'm in range of the station, aren't I? Ah, there's the interdict. Stop it, I just want to murder you. Okay, there's the station by itself. It doesn't have allies. Um... Ah, here's the academic. There's, there's, my, there's my tech cash mission. I'm not going to read it because it's, it's, it's vanilla standard. Um... Might as well sell my medals. Sure, why not? And medium combat laser. Oh. Oh, dang. These are um, probably pretty good, actually. It's just a double-sized tack laser. Well, I'm not going to buy any right now. I don't. I don't have any use for it. Uh, I do want harpoon pods, though. Harpoon pods are hard to find, and the marines are cheap enough. I don't really plan on raiding. Nah, I'm not going to buy marines, even if they are cheap. Yeah, I might as well sell the survey data because it doesn't do anything. And I am just going to, just in case, I know I'm going to salvage a bunch of fuel, but I'm just going to buy 150 fuel. It's enough to get me home. Um, shit, I bought something and I was going to use it. Oh, the harpoon pots, the harpoon pots. Yeah. Uh... There we go. So that turns this into a, a proper fire support ship. It's got the harpoons, it's got the mauler, and it's got a railgun for self-defense. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, it. It makes a surprising amount of difference, that kind of fire support. Okay. I got 150... It's by itself. I shook off the invaders. We're just going to do this shit. We're going to do a full deploy. And let's see how horribly I get murdered. I think I should be fine. It's a one module station, right? It's got the... It has the fortress shield. So I need to be careful. But I've got a good amount of fighters here. And I got those harpoons. So if I ever get the overload... Oh god, that's a hill. Oh god, hills are scary. 
hills are scary, my friend. I can't, I can't let this ship. Okay, you need to back off. No, no, no! Get behind me! God damn it! Get behind me! What is wrong with you? Okay, you need to retreat because you're suicidal. That's my reckless officer, isn't it? And it's dead. That is this. That is stupid. That is a stupid ship. All right, so so my frigates cannot survive being shot at by that hill. Uh, it is simply way too powerful. Uh, hills hills are just amazing guns. However, my destroyers are doing pretty darn well, and the hill can only fire at one target at once. So I'm actually going to come back in here, and as soon as this module, I think if I blow up these modules, I can actually lower the fortress shield. All right, there we go. The module's exposed. God, hills are just so much better. Hills are just so much better guns than any any large ballistic uh, HE weapon. They really are some of the best guns in the game. Well, there goes the harpoons. So the harpoons got a um, harpoons got a kill on that module, but the shields didn't go down. All right, here I am. I got an open firing line. And I die. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this again. That was embarrassingly bad. I mean, I know that... Ah, oh, shit, I'm all the way up here. All right. I thought I saved in that system. I know that high-tech stations are two or three times harder than, than low-tech stations. That's just like something I know. And I know that hills are probably, I mean, they're, they're the most powerful HE gun in the game because large kinetics suck. There we go. Let's get wiped again. <laughs> I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt. All right, we're going to slap a defense order here. And if this is how we get the fuel, then so be it. This is an SO wolf. I'm just going to fly up. I think I'm faster than it because it's pirate trash. You got one skim. I'm not faster than it because it is also SO. Well, that's a pity. There we go. Finally got a kill. We got a kill. All right, this thing is not so fast. Oh, it's shieldless. That's good. However, ooh, I just got I just got hit pretty hard. All right, I need a little help. I need you to actually help me here. All right, I dodged the missile, took some damage. I, Jesus Christ, will you follow your orders? I have to say, I'm not... Oh, God. I'm not terribly impressed with this ship that I'm piloting right now. It's so vulnerable that it's hard... To, like, it's, it's both slow and weak. So it's got the firepower, but it has no... Um, like, you just saw me just get, like, absolutely wrecked by that thing. So it has firepower, but it, it's so low in survivability. Maybe I'm just flying it too aggressively. It could really just be that I'm flying it too aggressively. These destroyers are holding out pretty well. Uh, I'm going to get the flank and the distraction. There we go. And i got to back off. So I have fuck all salamanders coming after me. And there we go. Okay, good. Now I've got a lot of ships chasing that wolf. Hopefully they'll do something. There we go, back online. So I did manage to peel that enforcer off and protect my semi-combat ships. This wolf needs to die because it has salamanders. And salamanders are the most dangerous missiles in the game. God damn it, I hate salamanders. All right, 
away. You three done down there. All three of you take out that wolf. Salamanders are fucking bullshit. Not because they're like overly powerful, just because they're not fun. You either have the ability to destroy them, or you're dead. There we go. That is some nice, nice solid armor damage there. Yeah, going fine. Oh, fuck me. That's such a weak ship. <laughs> yeah, I should get Salamanders. Well, I'm playing this, um... Yeah, I'm playing with these. These ships are quite strong. These are fine. This little thing, which I was like, Woo, I got an SO boat! It's so weak! Because it's, it's, cause it's slow. 135 speed is with SO is, is slow. So I can't actually catch much, and its its shield systems are bad. I mean, I'm also pl I'm flying it too aggressively, but compared to say, compared to a lasher, it's a pretty weak ship. Um, all right, now the one that chases me is gonna chase me. Prediction pulse, you bastard. <laughs> okay. Also, hi hissing wallets. How's it going? Aha! Here we go again! So the first time I did this, I successfully snuck in and then seppukud. And now I can't do it. Yeah, the lowered armor does not help. So I'm going to try to play this a little smarter here by choosing my battles more carefully with this small ship. Because it does have good it does have good firepower. Two mediums is, is really quite excellent. So like, I just need to... I need to avoid situations where I'm 1v1ing. I need to flank things. If I get the flank, the high firepower should let me kill things rapidly. Like this. Like this is actually, that was actually like, good. But now I need to back off and fire my flares because that's a lot of harpoons. And I don't, I don't have the hit points. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I took, another, I took some sabos there. All right, can I get the kill on that shrike or is this too spicy? All right, there's the kill. Cool, I got the kill, and actually my flares took care of the, um, yeah, flares took care of that. So this is going much better. Um, basically, I was flying wrong before. I mean, you can hear my, you can hear my screams of frustration, but really, this is just a ship that can't stand by itself. If it gets an ally, it has the firepower to do damage, but it needs the ally for the distraction. It's not not really capable of standing by itself. Okay. Do a drive by there. All right, how are things going down here? Okay. Cool. This is going much better. Uh, pop flares. Flares, good, good. The flares actually did did draw off the salamanders. Got frickin' more salamanders. I'm just gonna call for a heavy escort, but I'm already I'm already dead. That's it. Ship's dead. Uh there's one. And dead. Yep. I I'm done with that ship. It's just not worth it, you know? You take a single salamander, you take a single bout on the shields, and you're dead. That's it. So I'm done with it. Experiment over. It's a shit ship. That's my completely unbiased opinion. I'm totally unbiased here. Yep. Just because I can't pilot it. <laughs> okay, how are things going? Things are just not going that great. I needed that ship. It doesn't really have the flux flux stats to support triple thumpers either. Oh my god, what did I just do? 
Pro dodging. Pro salamander dodging, which is just to say that I, I screwed up my piloting. Alright. So I'm going to do this one more time. <laughs> so I was way overconfident in the combat ability of this fleet. Um, I've been fighting these small pirates and these tiny remnants. I'm like, yeah, yeah, these ships are okay combat ships. They're not. They're not okay combat ships. They're really bad. That's I, I shouldn't say they're really bad. They're just not, they're not good. They don't have, none of these ships have what I call a complete offensive and defensive package. Like this has offense, a lot of offense, but it doesn't have any defense. Maybe if I put a maybe if I put a Vulcan on the back, I might do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. Salamanders are very much early game. They're horrible, horrible threats because you don't have any hull mods that'll stop them, and they'll just straight up take you out. Um, Late game, you have the ability to take them out, and they're no threat. All right. No, unfortunately, I don't have any. I don't have any heavy machine guns on this thing that I can do. Also, high intrinsic parity. I could. Well, here's here's what I'll do. I'll change that out for a light duel, and I'll make this a Vulcan. So that should hopefully help a bit. There we go. So I, I, I cut my HE in half, and I actually have a lot more um, a lot more flux than I than I need. So I am going to reduce my flux to give myself enough space for an unstable injector. I need speed. The, the ship was too slow to catch the wolves. Okay. Hopefully that'll help. And right, the whole point of this horrible masochistic, masochistic endeavor was for me to buy fuel. So I've got my fuel. It's time for me to sneak on out of here. I really want to blow up that base. These people have pissed me off, but I really just don't have the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I got gas. Alright, so what else is going on? All right, I, I, I can take this bounty, so I'm going to save. I'm going to go beat up Gal Paladin. She doesn't, doesn't sound good now that I say it. I should probably avoid battery. But they're, they're paying me for it, so it's not, it's not murder, right? That's how that works? Oh, God. Oh, it's a salvage fleet. It'll still come get me if I, if I piss it off. All right. So I'm, I'm very happy with this fleet as a salvage fleet. I should get a couple of proper, proper destroyers, though. Like, I'm going destroyer speed. Oh, God. That's a lot more ships than was in the description. What the hell? All right, gal. All right, tell me what you got. <clears throat> Time for me to do a uh, dramatic reading. Hypocrite that you are, for you trust the cop inside your head as well as you do the cop in the hegemony council. All domination is ultimately based on the triumph of the unworthy over the many, the cruel over the innocent. Do you know what my crime was? To dream of a world of freedom, a world where a woman might stand on her own rather than cowing and worshipping at the ruined corpse of the domain. To make the distinction unmistakably clear, freedom is the vital force in human history, our history. Hegemony is that inert mass of institutions and organizations which accumulate around and tend to drag down the advance of life. Freedom is arcadely in Okenti facing death by fire. Hegemony is the Domain Intelligence Service, after 62 years of inquisition, sending him to the wall. Freedom is mutual aid and self-defense. Hegemony is the judge, the law book, and the forces of law. Freedom is uprising, insurrection, revolution. Hegemony is the war of state against state, of or of a machinery against people, as in the fringe systems and magic. 
Freedom is tolerance, detachment and humor, or passion, anger, revenge. Hegemony is the entrance examination, the planet killer, the doctoral dissertation and the summary execution. Freedom is the heroes of the Esconian Revolutionary Council fighting the Persian League, then the diktat, then the hegemony, then the diktat again. Hegemony is Andrada and the diktat itself. Freedom is the Lud granting us freedom from the tired thanatocracy of the domain. Hegemony is the pathers dedicated to tearing down all the old and new alike. Freedom is a youth with an antimatter catalyzed fusion grenade in her hand. Hegemony is the League militiaman or Tritachian enforcer that guns her down. Freedom is the wild regiment <laughs> is the wild river. Hegemony, 592,000 tons of cement. Freedom flows. Hegemony thickens and coagulates like tired, sick, stifled blood. Blood. Come then, unthinking hunting beast that you are. Will you fight or you perish, perish like a dog? Well, okay, that was that was fun. That was a good that was a good speech. I like that. I, I messed up a few times near the end just because my tongue was getting a little bit tired, but I think that went pretty well. Yeah, went pretty well. Okay, this is probably gonna kick the shit out of me, but um, let's give it a shot. All right, we're gonna give a quick defend. We have the newly improved fuck you boat, and. Oh, God, Vera. Really? Oops. Uh, I should really set that on auto fire. Oh, wow. My flux is really freaking high. All right. I'm just going to let my flux die down. All right. There we go. We got a flanking. Got some flanks. God, Sabos. Can we get this kill? Oh god, I took a nasty AM blaster shot there. There we go, there's the kill. Got the uh Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We're just gonna we're just gonna run. Whoo boy, I think we're dead. Oh yeah. Salamander took out the engines. Um that's it. Salamander, Salamander will do it unless. I'm drifting back towards my fleet. Woo! All right, lucky. That was too too bold of me. I need to not need to not do that. So the fleet's doing really well. Overextended. All right, that's a nasty ship. Um, I'm just gonna get over here and, and and try to save my ally by drawing some fire. So, okay, so I drew some fire. Now I'm gonna back back over. And let's see, my ally did the hard work. Let's see if I can get a kill. Nope, I gotta back off. Because that's a nasty beam. Okay. My fleet's holding. Um, managed to avoid losses down. This thing is this thing is not shieldless, but I think. Ah oh god, I Ah, get off my get off my side. Okay. You're winning. Cool. Whew, maneuverability is lacking. Oh god, stop spinning! Stop spinning! I think my shift my shift key just gave out. That was weird. Okay. These hounds just kind of beat me. There we go. There we go. Need to back off. Ah, uh, it's just too weak. It doesn't have the offense or... Like, I gave it more shield breaking and more defense. And the, the reduced... Uh, the reduced armor, it's just not very high fire. Like, it is high firepower, but... It's not that great. It's also low... Uh, something I'm actually noticing a lot. It's a very low maneuverability ship. If you spin in the wrong direction, that's basically it. Okay, this is good, this is good. If I can keep chasing this away from its allies... No, it's faster than me. It's faster. I can, I can cut the corners on it, at least, but... 
this is a waste of time. Unfortunately, I can't I can't turn away and disengage because if I do that, like I I need to get back to my fleet and give them fire support. But if I do that, then I horse encounter. If I do that, then this thing is going to skim and 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 pop me. Maybe I should retreat. I do have the option of retreating. I'm at the bottom of the map and my CR is ticking down. But it's also really aggressive. Like I feel like if I if I hit enter ret to retreat, it's going to kill me. Okay, okay. There we go. I got the kill. I should be able to kill this also, although it has that it has that heavy auto cannon. Nope. Not fast enough. So you are just going to get treated. And I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm just going to see if I can save this ship. I don't think so. No, no, it's it's surrounded. It's dead. Um, it's doing pretty well. But, uh, yeah. yeah no, nothing I could do there. Let's see. Who should I take control of? The rest of my fleet is actually doing pretty well. I think I am going to win this battle. Let's take control of the Rock Hound. Okay. I don't even remember really what the Rock Hound is um, armed with. The thing is that the fighters are slowly cleaning things up. And I got I got a few kills. So what's this armed with? Oh, it's got the burst beam. Okay, I, I can do a bit of um, I can do a bit of cleanup with burst beam, especially considering that the um, combat readiness of these enemies should be going down. But I am going to try to learn my lesson and stay within fighter cover. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of hang out. We're gonna fire our fire fire our burst beam, launch flares. Um, players did their job. I've got drone cover. That's good. I should I should shoot these fighters a bit with my my particle beam. Oh oh, I suck. I suck at targeting. Yes, I totally suck. I'm I'm a fan of. I like, I like I suck at cooking. I kind of want to clip that. Uh. That speech. It's a good speech. Now, um, I want to. I want to clean up. I want to clean up these flankers. That's what I should be doing. Fly up here. Oh God. Oh God. Just shoot it. Oh my God. How did you just die to a stupid little? It has five percent CR. Just shoot the damn thing. Welp, that's fun. Oh god, it has a... So Never mind. I take back everything bad I said. It's really dangerous. Ah! <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's the blood dog. Okay, so that's the unique ship that Vera added for this, for this unique bounty. Okay. So it's, it's 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 out of CR. Um I'm actually going to put an eliminate order on it. So that's the bounty itself. That's the 50,000. Okay, so what am I in command of now? Uh this this fine, this fine ship. That's fun. Let's see. This is the main gun. But Okay, cool. That's the main gun. Actually, I, I need to take out the kite. It's got torpedoes. That's dangerous. Yep, there's one torpedo. Ah, there we go. I finally piloted well. Critical 
Pokemon functions. That's no good. A nice main gun. I think I am just getting overloaded, overwhelmed though. Oh god! I thought I dodged. I lowered, I lowered my shields because I was like 99% sure I dodged. Welp. I think I'm gonna have to do this fight one more time. I think I'm gonna lose. Although you know, it's close. Very close, even with my shit par piloting. I suck at piloting, yes I totally suck. You know, you know your ships are not particularly good when you're like, Oh no! A Colossus Mark II! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Alright. I think I can do this fight. That's the thing. I, I think this is a fight I can win. I want to try it one more time. I'm not gonna read the. I'm not gonna read the description though. I, I I read the description dramatically once. I might make a clip of it again, so that I can, so that it saves. Just because. Gal Paladin has a nice a nice speech. I'm gonna. Try, I, I'll I'll try that combat one more time. But it is a significantly larger number of enemy ships than I expected. So for those of you who didn't see it the first time, I read this dramatically. You should go back and listen to it. And this will be the last time that I try this. This time, I swear, I'll stop flying like a fucking idiot. Maybe. No, I always fly like an idiot. I, I have fun flying like an idiot. I think it's exciting. That's a little more like it. I didn't overextend and instantly explode. Yay! Yes, chase me, chase me. Allow my fire support vessels to actually fire support. Oops. I gotta remember that I'm still... Still not fast enough to kill this thing. So unless... It got away. But I can double back. Ooh, and I actually got like a flank and a kill. What is this? What is this not piloting like shit? I'm not allowed to do that. Ooh, I got hit in the... Ah, I got my rear corner got hit by something nasty there. I think it's probably the wolf. Probably the wolf's both burst beam. Are you retreating? You are retreating. Okay. There we go. I feel like Frodo Samwise Ganji is yelling at me not to go alone. Oh no, my badger. My badger's in trouble. Badger, 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 badger. <clears throat> I'm coming, badger. Hey there, you overextended. The enemy overextended instead of me. What is this madness? I'm not allowed to pilot... Well, okay. Am I am I overextending? No, I think I I think I can actually win this fight, and I can just chase it down and get the kill. My flux is still good. Shit! I overextended. I overextended. <laughs> Damn it! I did the thing again. <laughs> Alright, 
this might seem... Alright, this thing right there. I'm just gonna kill this stupid thing. It's got no shields. Alright. I'm actually just gonna run away from this conflict. And uh, get back to the fight. You two are doing okay. I think, I think as long as it's two on two, they'll live. Um, I'm gonna get back over here and try to try to exploit my allies. So the, the, the wolf did retreat, and that's okay. Um, retreat is not a problem. Okay. Oh, my Vulcan just saved me. Because the flares didn't really work. Alright, so now, here we go. Distracted ship. I can fly up, get some damage, and run the fuck away from that thing. I've learned my lesson. Learn my lesson. Hit and run. Hit and run. Okay, so they're actually... Oh, they're not winning anymore. Well... Wah, wah. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need a retreat soon. But let me just see if I can clean up this frigate swarm a little bit. The answer to that is probably not. There's that awful, awful rock hound. Uh, whoa! What were you? That was an AM blaster from an overclocked weapons on a light strike pinache. Pinache. The hail class. Well, FML. Alright, so this is about to die, just like last time. Um, I'll try to take command of this one. That was a nice AM blaster shot, though. Just like, bam. Okay, all right. Do I have control of this ship? Um, not really. Okay, all right. What the hell ship is this again? Oh, okay, that, that's what's going on. All right, got some fighters. I got getting hit by a Reaper. Fine. Eh, poor use of hammers on my part. Got flak. Should probably vent soon. Because you're about to fire that Frickin' AM Blaster again, yeah. That's a dangerous ship, because if you looked at that damage number, it was a lot higher than a normal AM Blaster. That was the overclocked weapons, I'm guessing. That's a nasty little strike ship. It's kind of doing that, that Vera Omen. Just dart in, get a strike, dart out. This is a nice... I like these little destroyers. The ones that I'm piloting right now with the side the side energy cannon. They're really... They're, they're not strong, but they're fun. And they also have these built-in fighter drones, which really help quite a lot. Um, like, they are legitimately beating these enforcers one-on-one. -on -one. Like, all I need to do is, is hold off here and, and, and do it. But I'm going to run out of CR... And I'm going to run out of fighters, and it's going to get some Talon allies. Oh, God, there's the there's the kill. All right. That was you, wasn't it? So that was the enemy badger. 
The enemy badger got it. Got me with its built-in hammer drones. Ah, this is a close fight. Don't think I can do it though. Well, let me. I'll, I'll just. I'll. I'll play it out. I think you're all just gonna watch me lose and reload again, but that's okay. You know, it's kind of like I know if I just got some, you know, just oh, just buy a hammerhead, put assault chain guns on it. Like a hammerhead could solo most of this fleet by itself, right? But I think it's more fun to kind of like it's more fun to play and lose because when things go well. It's really satisfying. Like that. That was really satisfying. I, I enjoyed jumping onto this ship and stealing the kill. I do have demod reduction, so hopefully I'll be able, I'll be able to uh, recover these ships. But... Hey, like these... Like they're running out of CR. All I gotta do is... Where's the... Where's the rock? Where's the... Block? Bloodhound? The, like, the nasty, nasty little, um, so that's a Hound A, that's a Hound A, that's a Hound A, okay. There's the Blood Dog. All right. So I need, I need the Blood Dog to die. Because that's the Bounty. The Bounty's the Blood Dog. Everything else is just trash. There we go. So now that now that the frigates aren't swarming, this ship is just beating up this enforcer. Like it just it just does. It just beats up the enforcer. All right. I uh, no, there are torpedoes there. I can't vent. There's a frickin' bloodhound. I see you. I see you there, target. I can't catch you. There's no way I can catch you. But my fighters might be able to. All right, you're out of CR. Oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. The, the, the badger torpedoed me. Okay. Note to self, don't be an idiot. All right. You just keep on, keep on keeping on. Ah, shoot, my railgun went down. Because I'm at 20% CR, no. No, I need my railgun. Okay, there's my railgun's back up again. That's what I need. All right, so it's, it's shields are maxed out. I'm not pointing at the enemy. Okay, one of the hammers missed. Oh, this is such a comedy of this is such a comedy of errors. You have CR left. You get down here. You actually help me. Ah, no, I got salamandered. Okay, okay. This is like comedy of slugs. Torpedoes inbound, I think. I need to be careful. Yep, there are the torpedoes. But, okay, but I, I managed to not get hit by them. <laughs> I lost my shepherd. Oh, it's so, I'm so close. So close, but I'm not going to win it. I'm going to lose by CR. The enemy actually fights better at CR, at CR zero than I do. Um, so I got both of these left. Is this thing running? If that's running, then I can win. So both of you actually target that. Okay, so there goes my CR. This thing's dead. How does it have... Oh, it has an officer? Is that how it has 62% CR left? Hmm. So I'm out of CR. Um... I might as well go for it, right? You're right. Is the enemy retreating? The enemy is retreating. I 
think I've won. I think it might take a while for me to win, because they are retreating, but I think I've won. Also, there's just some... There's just some talents hanging out over here. That happens. Well, this is the this is the slowest this is the slowest victory I've ever had. <laughs> oh no, there's there's CR zero there. No, it's coming back. No, don't come back. You're supposed to be running. <laughs> and there's my fighters. My fighters are fighting the freaking. All right. <laughs> I can't run. When I run, they know. There's the Bloodhound. That's my actual target right there. <laughs> this is like watching a nature, nature documentary when the Wallers tries to chase the penguin onto land and neither of them know how to walk. They're like, arf, 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 arf. But none of them are, none of them can actually move on land. They're, they're water creatures. Oh god, I'm so tired. So this is the only ship with CR left. It's got 30% CR left. Um, but there's fighting ears attacking it. I'm moving at a blazing 38 speed. I'll get there. By God, I'll get there. Okay, now I'm drifting at 18 speed. We're making progress. No, not torpedoes. You're not allowed to have torpedoes. This is hilarious. So this ship hasn't actually been fired upon, but every malfunction does hull damage. Come on. Okay, I need one engine to come back online so I can turn to the right. There we go. There we go. All right, all right. Now I got to slow this turn because if I flame... Oh, no. <laughs> Aha, I'm in firing range. I don't have actually any damage. Ah, there we go. I didn't I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> The last thing you remember is a sudden burst of acceleration as the escape pod you're in tears away from your doomed ship. <laughs> well, that was that was amusing. All right, that's enough of that. I maybe I could win that fight. I don't deserve to win that fight though. All right, I'm gonna go uh, go to the Betis, get some military. What the heck's my fuel range? Oh, I need to stop somewhere first. Oh, I think I'm just friendly here, so I'll stop there. I need to buy some more fuel. I got money though. I could either buy a military ship, or I could um, go on some more exhibition exhibitions. I could go on some more exploring missions. Because they just, they make a lot of money. <laughs> so there you go, Fight of the Walruses. A hard fought loss. There's the academic with the. With the I forgot to get it at the at the pirates, but apparently they, they managed to get off the pirates to my next base. Um, some fun 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 weapons. I don't have anything that can mount these, but hills and plasma cannons are choice. Oh, an omen. Yeah. I mean, how can you how can you not buy an omen? Overpower little buggers. But this is actually one of the very few ships that I install reinforced bulkheads on. And do I have an AM blaster here? No. You'll get you'll get Nyra Pulse. 
and an Atropos, sure. There we go. So that'll help. Omens are just good. Let's see, anything else good for sale that I want right now? This is another one of these high offense. Oh, but it's much faster. It's much faster. It's 160 base speed. Do I have a do I have a spare um, assault chain gun? I do. I'm gonna buy a hatchetman. First, because I like to try new mod chips. Second of all, because. I think it may be better for my SO purposes, purposes, purposes than that other ship. Ooh, no, no rear facing point defense. So I'll have to be careful of that. Micro burn. <laughs> oh, this is a suicide ship. This is totally a suicide ship. Okay, now we're gonna want some basic LMGs for kinetic damage. And I'm actually going to put on some of these zero OP racks, just because why not? And that that should be a fun piece of crap. I do have a Reckless Officer. I could put my Reckless Officer in this thing. Let's just see how it does against the uh, wolf. This is a pirate wolf. Hopefully, I can kill it. Let's see, Horse Encounter says, what's my preferred archer setup? I'm a big fan of... Well, okay, okay. If I'm doing it for... Oh, the ship is so much faster. Oh, it's so nice. It's so fast. Okay, all right. This is a lot more fun to fly. What's the microburn do? Whee! That's what the microburn does. Oh, oh, shield stay on. Shield stay on when the microburn happens. Oh, that's fun. So for archers, um, you basically you got two run, you got two ways to build an archer in my opinion. You're either going to um, you're either going to give it some sabos, and you're relying on the sabo overloads to keep it safe. And that is kind of yeah, I like how fast this ship is. I'm going to overextend and explode. You've been watching me pilot. You know that I have a terrible time, not over. Where? <laughs> I flamed it out. I flamed it out. <laughs> that was a that was a nine thousand IQ my micro, micro burn and ram. <laughs> so so the other way, you can run sabos and go overloads because sabos are quite powerful. And ram. <laughs> or. <laughs> Or you can just stuff it to the gills with harpoons and let the AI take it. Because har harpoon, once you reach critical mass of harpoons, you can really, um, you can really fuck things up with massed harpoons. I think those are your best options. You don't really want to do dumb fire missiles on, a, on an archer. I don't think that's a good plan. Now let's see, this thing does not have any rear facing point defense, but, oh boy. So I, but it's it's actually fast enough to mainly outrun the... Like, I just got to be careful of them. Like, it doesn't have flares. <laughs> but mainly it can outrun... Oh, but these are, sorry, Harper, these are no officer salamanders. What I'm afraid of is if you get an, off, an officer, a missile officer salamander, it's really, really gross. It's just gross. Oh, look at that auto aim accuracy. I need the level three. Okay, we're gonna bait out. There it goes. Its system is active. We gotta wait for that system to turn out itself off. There. Now the ship's vulnerable, and we can kill it. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna fly this thing because it's hilarious. <laughs> and so this will be my my ship that will get exploded because I cannot, will not, fly reasonably. 
I fly too I fly too recklessly. It's what I do. Um It's just more fun. And then you die. Oh, this this I have an I have an officer with some levels. Um I'm not gonna do damage control. Hey, I'm flying them like hammerheads because hammerheads are the best ship. I have gotten a little used to the fact that hammerheads just murderate everything. As I go, like, oh, I have a ship. Impaired life support systems. I'm gonna buy this omen, both because it's an omen and also because I want to know what impaired life support systems actually do. So this is added by one of the Vera mods. The ship's basic life support systems are barely functional as a result of terrible damage to the ship, critical errors in its manufacturing, or gross mismanagement over the cycles. Whatever the reason, this hull is capable of supporting only a severely limited number of semi-permanent crew berthings, and those only in significant discomfort. Maximum CR reduced by 50... <gasps> oh, God. Maximum CR reduced by 15%. Car crew capacity reduced by 75%. Well, the CR is a rough... A rough blow. Um, but it's still a omen. It will be fine. But do you like this other omen? It's one of the few ships that I will give uh, bulkheads to. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, horse encounter. The reason the reason I don't flying hammerheads are boring is because they're too powerful. Because you know, here I am. I'm swearing. I'm saying, "Oh, this ship is terrible. Look, I can't dominate everything." But when you can dominate everything, it's just less interesting. So I will bitch and moan and complain and have more fun by flying these little horrible demon ships I just want to see if I can I loop around can I loop around and do a back kill uh, so I put I put bulkheads on the omen for the recovery Wee wee! <laughs> oh god they're the harpoons so omens are actually quite tough they have a they have a, a very powerful shield and you can get up to 10 capacitors on them quite easily. But the problem is that the, the AI is not is not consistent with its shield usage. And so what happens is um, because the AI is not consistent with its shield usage and the ship only has like, oh god, I went in the wrong direction. I went in front of the guns instead of the side of the guns. The ship only has like 750 hit points or something awful like that. So when the AI derps with its shields, omens just, they pop. They just die. Um, it doesn't happen every fight. It happens maybe one in five fight, maybe less. But if you if you got a ship that's going to die one in five fights, you need, to, you need to put bulkheads on it. Or you need to put an officer and have the skill. But that's just not um, not practical. Okay, so I, I finally there we go. So I finally looped I looped around behind the hammerhead. Finally, I probably could have done that better if I was a better pilot. And there we go. Yes, yeah, so let's. Yeah, so. Yeah, seven hundred twenty-five armor, seven hundred um, seven hundred fifty hull. You know. I am I'm okay behind phase ships. I'm not um I'm not as good as some people on the forum cuz some people on the forum have the timing down where they can unphase and fire right at the bare bleeding edge and get around omni shields. I'm not that good. Um but I can I can you know I can pilot a phase ship. I can I can do the I mean, you go forward, you enter phase, you hit the D key to turn around without doing stuff. You unphase, you fire in the engines, you rephase, repeat. It's not... Yeah. I, I, I don't find phase ships very fun to fly. Because of the time dilation. If I got the, if I got, if I got the phase speed... If I got the speed up mod, 
maybe I'd play phase ships again. But I, I, they're just kind of boring. You just kind of do the same thing over and over again. Okay. Well, I will. I can get some non-SO ships. Um, SO is just such a power. It's just such a power advantage. Ugh, I don't want to play phase only. Like that's the thing. Like I, I just find phase boring to physically pilot. Like it's good. It's really good. And if you find it fun, then good for you. Have have a good time. But I don't. So. Okay, well, there we go. I got some. I got some ships. I got some omens actually. Omens. Omens are really good. Um, you're gonna scan me. Why aren't you scanning me? That was really weird. Um, and now I'm gonna buy some more fuel. <laughs> there we go. And I'll sell off that not very good survey data. Okay, now I'm in an exploration fleet. I think I'm going to do some exploration again. Um, that's kind of piratey. Where is some exploration? I mean, I got this mining station way out there. So, like, I know there's something out there, but... You know what? I'm actually going to do something I normally don't do. Um, oh, there's no transplutonics here. I'm going to bring along enough transplutonics and um, let me see if Cibola has some transplutonics. I'm going to build enough that I can build some comma rays. And what that lets me do is it lets me start exploring and then there are ruins there. Let me see if there's anything in these ruins. That would be a bit cheap, but it lets you build. Um, well, okay, then, yeah, just. Here's my transplutonics. That's what I wanted. It lets you build comm relays as you go. And then w once you have comm relays, you can take exploration missions once you're already out there. Yeah, I had I had some fun. I mean, from my um from my AI game, I actually had some fun playing the AI phase ship myself it just didn't it didn't work very well in ai hands and i got a bit frustrated also then it died and i was like eh, i don't feel like buying another one but I, I had some fun i had some fun flying it around in the in the few fights that i i took it on okay i'm gonna take enough for four and two and i'll probably find more metal out in the black And what are you doing? You're taking domestic goods to max. I don't know. I don't. I don't have the space. Okay. I suppose last call for ships. Oh my god! I could just pick up another omen. That's really kind of cheap. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm thinking about the shockbuster. Yeah, I never played the one with the. I never played the one with the. Um, the light spear. Now I'm not gonna buy another omen. I'm okay. I got two. That's fine. My fuel, my fuel use is is actually a little high. Like I got a lot of um, got a lot of ships here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six. Yeah, I got. I'm doing 15 fuel for light pre light year, which is already a bit high. Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay, time to explore. I did this area a little bit. Let me go... Oh, there's a Neutron Star. Let's see if I can get a... Um... Let's see if I can find a research base. The Black Rock Cruiser that absorbs all the shit. Oh, the Morpheus. Oh, I haven't played a Morpheus in years. That would be fun. I, I, I think I would have legit a lot of fun piloting a Morpheus. I'd also... Apparently, I'd fly it like an SO Hammerhead. Because I always fly things like freaking SO Hammerheads. And then I would get murder wrecked. Okay, so here's a little trick. Um, ooh, there's a reasonable bounty. Where are you? You're way the fuck over there. Okay, so here's a little trick for jumping into neutron star systems. If you can do it on a gas giant gravity well, do so. Because you can hide in the shadow. So I got unlucky. The beam was on me. But that didn't matter. I was in the shadow. Okay, and what do we got? 
Hey, there's our research station. Okay. So that, this is going really nicely for exploring. I've got the plus 50%. This could be payday to pay for the exploration already. Um, do I want to fight him? Actually, why the fuck not? I don't think I want the tug. Oh, Scott, especially not with erratic fuel injector. But I am going to just pick up a pristine fighting. Sure. All right, what do we got? I have Cobra Blueprint. Awesome. Claw Blueprint. Awesome. Survey pod. Oh. The light survey pod is equipped with a relatively long-range control transmitter and a light marker flare originally intended for flagging mineral deposits. Interesting. Okay, so it's got a little ion per pulse on it. I wonder if it gives some out-of-combat benefits. It's been a deck crew. Very nice. Heavy armor. Ah, hardened shields. That's top tier. Recovery shells. Okay, now we got some LPCs. Solon. Blast antediluvian. Fuck, antediluvian. I thought antediluvian stopped being a mod like eight years ago. Apparently, Vera has brought it back. Huh, I wonder if the ships are in here. Okay, well, little assault gun. Range 600, damage 200, F over D 1.3. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do pure mining ship. I think I'm going to transition to uh I'm going to transition to more combat ships later. Let's see, short circuit driver. <laughs> it's a special EMP boosted HVD. So DPS is lower, EMP is higher. Flux per non EMP damage is awful, but it gets a special EMP arc. That's fun. I should try that. Sabo Pod, wonderful. Hammer Pod, wonderful. Storm Mueller, Gauss Cannon. All of these are good things. And we have a debris field. Oh, uh, no. No. Come on, give me give me those tasty, tasty capital blueprints and nanoforges. Ah, okay. Looks like I got hardened shields. This was a decent research station, but... Nothing really to write home about. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, I, Is anything else going to be in this neutron star system? Kind of doubtful. Yeah, I'm just... I'll check out this asteroid belt. Sometimes there's mining stations and asteroid fields. Okay, I'm going to take off before I get caught in a ion. Storm. Not Ion Storm. Pulsar Beam. Whatever. The bad murder you shit. Let's see, there's another neutron star down there, and might be a good constellation. I'm just gonna just gonna kinda head out though. I'm gonna go do this red dwarf and this giant and then hit up Moloch. Let's see, I think this is an empty star system, but since I'm so good on fuel, um I am holding this thing around now. That lowers my burn to eight, but. Oh, hey, there's actually some stuff in here. Well, that's that's actually nice. I'm glad I dropped in. Oh, double neutron star is rough. Hello there. Hello there, Legion. Are you going to be recoverable? You are. Oh, do you have no D mods? Because I have the I have the skill that gives no D mods. Well, I don't mind if I do. Okay, now I have a bit of a problem, in that I have a fucking legion, and I don't have the crew, um, or the fuel. I have not seen the LP fighting yet. <laughs> yeah, we got a combat ship now. I am probably going to... Okay, I need to, I need to mothball this. I need to bring this back to the docks. Well, this is the one of the most profitable... Um, this is one of the most profitable empty star systems I've come to. I think I have 800 fuel. I think I can make it back. 
Um, oh yeah, I, actually I can make it back just fine. I'm probably going to install the augmented drive field on this legion to get it up to burn 9. That's not... Um, it's going to cut into the combat power a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And the the fuel per light year at 15 is actually equal to the entire rest of my fleet combined. So this, mm, this is probably going to get stored. I need a colony. I need a colony now so I can store this, but I don't have the I don't have the money for it. But this is powerful enough that I can take out that base. I have 38 days to take out that base. Okay. All right. I can do this. We're going to get back there. We're going to we're going to do a fast fit. of this legion with what I have available and we're going to go kill that pirate base I have 34 days and I gotta I gotta pick whether I gotta pick whether I want the 7 the 7 burn or the 9 burn yeah 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 Okay, so unfortunately I lost I lost the combat readiness for it. That's gonna cost a lot. Yeah. I mean, when you include um Alright, I'm actually gonna sell off some of this some of this metal. I know I'm probably taking a loss loss on it, but Oh, locusts. Locusts are locusts are real good. So I'm gonna need crew. I need a lot of crew. Who boy. This is, uh... Yep. Okay, so let's see. How, how much... How many OP? I don't have any OP. Oh my god, I could... I could install collapsed cargo holds on it. Oh, that's so broken. How much cargo is in this? Oh, it's only 300 cargo, actually. That's not so broken. <laughs> Now I do. I'm gonna put dedicate cargo holds. The augmented drive field is 40 OP. So I gotta. I gotta think about whether I want 40 OP. Um, what do I have available for this ship? Um, I have a really eclectic mix of crap. I mean, Zyphos are good. I, I don't have that much money. I need to be careful about my money situation here. I could put the flash on, so that's Kopesh flash. 170, 180, the speed's fairly matched. Uh, it's not the. Th I don't want to lower the speed to 130. This is a cheap option. I'm gonna throw the wasps on. This is not a good loadout, but. Okay, now let's look at missiles. Let's see, I could go brawl. So I'm gonna so people have been saying that they're done, they're tired with me piloting SO, so I'll pilot the Legion. And if I'm piloting this, I'm probably gonna get nice and close because I'm an idiot. The question is, do I want the hammer barrage? Um Oh god, that you, you have the D mod that doubles the doubles the logistics? Yeah. So do I want the locust for antifire or do I want the hammerhead? The hammer brush for brawling. You know, I am attacking a station. I'm gonna go for the hammer brush. It's also cheap. Okay, let's see. Dual flak never hurt anyone. Um, no, this is a lot of point defense. I'm not sure I need all this point defense. Ugh. My rail guns. Let's see, I'm actually going to put Arbalests on. I'm normally not an Arbalest fan, but the, the Legions are limited quite a lot by their Flux. So I'm going to I'm gonna do Arbalests instead of Railguns. And I got the Heavy Autocannon there. Let's 
see. I don't have any more... <laughs> I don't have any more Vulcans. I'm actually going to steal... The... This, this is good. I'm going to steal a Vulcan to make this symmetric. And I'll just put on some, el some point defense. Eh, not great. Not great. I could, yeah, I could make this another... I can make this another kinetic gun. So railguns... So railguns are better in almost every single way except for flux efficiency. So an arbalist is 0.8 efficiency and a railgun is 0.9. They're the same range. Yeah. So I'm actually not an Arbalist fan. Because they're slow, they're not accurate. They're, they're, they're slow projectiles and they're inaccurate. But in this particular case, I'm going to go with the Arbalists. Now let's see. How are my... What kind of mods can I add to this to beef it up? I'm actually going to add Hardened Shields, which might seem strange, except that I know that Pirate Station might have a hill. If you're fighting a hill... You need dissipation and you need hardened shields. God, my dissipation is actually good. I'm like, ah, that's way too. Meh. I don't like that. Uh, let's see. What else? What else could I add to this? I'm not going to do racks. Even though I have large missiles, I'm just not going to do racks. Um, I refuse to do efficiency overhaul. That's actually, I don't have efficiency overhaul, do I? Could have sworn I had it. So here's the question. Do I lower this thing's speed um, by installing... I'm going to have to sacrifice a lot to get that. So you know what? We're just going to go at burn 7. Let's see. What do I have to sacrifice? I have to sacrifice the hardened shields. Oh, it's really tempting to get up to burn 9. Okay, before I forget, this needs to try subsystems. Oh, I lost it. I lost it on a reload because I was fucking dying to everything. Oh, that's a pity. Okay, so this is my Legion right now. Um, I am going to sacrifice to go to to go to go burn 9. It's kind of because I'm exploring and it just it takes, takes a while. Oh, this is a lovely 14th Battle Group Legion. Okay. Let me... I just want to see, like... What does this thing do to a Dominator? It should dominate a Dominator. I mean, Dominator's a 25 OP, a DP. This thing is 40. And I've got... Actually, I don't have any combat skills. So there's the Flash. Let's see. <laughs> Dominators are actually pretty good against... Like, I, this is... I, it is, like... I almost feel like I should give this to my officers just because I have no combat skills. But... Let's see, how's this going? I am feeling a bit of the short range of the, um... of the Arbalists. I wish... I wish I had HVDs. Legions love HVDs. Like, they're just, uh, they are just solid. Let's see, we saturate the point defense with fighters, and our missiles get a good hit in. Um, it's not dominating as much as I would, uh, as much as I'd really like. But, it's okay. It's bringing some boom. It should help. There goes the flashes. Um, yeah. Yeah, really. Okay, so how? What, what is my thinking right now? Do I have heavy mortars in my fleet? I mean, heavy maulers. I didn't buy them at the time, and I should have because now I'm I'm really wanting some long range guns. Um, eh, fine. It's fine. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, you can't you can't SO a capital. Although I will say, assault chain guns are really good for fighter defense. Let me see if I can let me see if I can show you. So if I if I put some assault chain guns on here, well first first of all I, you know whatever. But let me show you how this does against. Um, let me just throw some fighter. So I hope these wasps should actually be doing. But basically, these broadswords are going to come down and they're going to start shooting at me. And I think these salt chain guns are going to do a real good job killing fighters. They should. Yeah, you just just look at those assault chain guns. Just just tear through those fighters. So they're actually like. It seems a little bit silly to think of assault chain guns as anti-fighter weapons, but they are high efficiency, high damage, good accuracy, close range, but that doesn't matter against fighters. So... Maybe I'll keep the assault chain guns. That's kind of stupid, but like... It gives the ship a close range, a close range bite that it was missing before. Now, I haven't actually I haven't actually deployed the fighters yet. I've just been using them for defense, which is for the Kopeshes, it's completely wasted. Okay, and I don't really care about the the broadswords. Yeah. Now, one thing that I'm considering is trying to get a Xyphos on this thing. Because Xyphos, Xyphos and Legion are really good. Currently, this is kind of this awkward strike and fighter mix, which is okay. Like, you see you see these little mines. The wasps are, are launching these mines, and they actually took out a lot of those incoming bombs. Because wasps are probably the, the, probably the premier interceptor in the game. All right, now I'm going to launch these guys. Uh, go, go kill that, go kill that ship, and I'll fire off my, my hurricane. And here we go. Here are those assault chain guns. Uh, that one's flying out of their range, which is fun. Oh no! Oh no! Burn drive! Burn drive! You have no rear guns. Burn drive! <laughs> so that is the downside, of course, of a legion is that they're. Their engine doesn't even have, uh, their engine doesn't even have, like, small mounts. You're right, Cenosauropteryx. 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 Uh, sparks are better interceptors. Um, just because they're really powerful. Okay. So now, here I am. I'm just kind of dinking around in the simulator. Um, it's got pretty good point defense. The dual flak and the Vulcans actually give it pretty good missile defense. Well, hey, look at this. At this range, the assault chain guns are actually firing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep the assault chain guns. I like those. They're going to protect my flanks from frigates and fighters. Let me see. Let me let me do that. Let me do that. This fight again. This is the fight I just did, where it took me a long time to get a kill. Let's see what happens now that I have these assault chain guns. I am a little low on kinetic damage, aren't I? I only have two kinetic guns. Well, unfortunately, it's actually a high tech station. <laughs> um, but high tech stations get a gap in their. Uh, High tech stations get a gap in their shields. Like they have those rotating fortress shields. So like when that gap is there, it should do real well. Hey, this is working out really nicely. I actually like I'm really glad someone mentioned the SO chain the, the chain guns, because while they're silly, 
they're working out really nicely. Okay, so here I am, I'm out of range with my chain gun. So that's one in range. Saturate the point defense. Order my bombers on their run. There are the Kopeshes, there are the Flashes. I like this ship. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to try it with the Augmented Drive Field for now, because I'm an impatient person. Um, but if I find that it's a little combat weak... <laughs> hey, Vera! How's it going? I read... Vera, I read Gal Paladin's bounty description... Um, in dramatic voice. The whole thing. The whole speech about um, the hegemony and freedom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a clip out of it afterwards. I kind of um, I, I started stumbling over my words in the last like second in the last like couple sentences, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, so I'm playing without Nex, and so far things are great. Like, I think for some reason, the previous times I'd played and been like, where are all the bounties? Some sort of weird interaction was happening. There have been plenty of bounties happening. I'm having a good time with the ships. I think these ships are really well done in that they're not that strong combat ships, which is good because they have the built-in, like, you know, equipment and stuff. But they're not that strong, but they're still fun to, fun to fly. Yeah, I did the independent miner start, even though there's no mining. And I've got bought one more prospector and one more badger. And I found a, I found a completely demon free legion. So I'm going to kill some pirate baits, and then I'm going to finally kill Gal Paladin. God damn it! <laughs> okay. So here's my fleet. It's a very nice fleet, no? Wrong. I'm a little low on money. Might sell off that gamma core, even though I'm not at tritac. Oh, jeez, it's such a long greeting, though. Like, I like it, but it's a, oh, it's a long greeting. It's a long greeting, Vera. You're, ask, you're asking a lot. <laughs> okay. So I need to... I need to go look at my fuel radius. Okay, I got it. So currently I'm rigged for red. or I'm rigged for speed. So my fleet should be growing burn 18. Yeah. So I'm rigged for speed. Um, I have enough fuel to get out there, and I might buy more at the pirate base when I blow it up. Let's see. What else was I doing, Vera? I was I was rocketing around in this little fucker, and I was bitching the entire time because it's not blatantly overpowered. It's like a reasonable little ship, and that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what I did. Also, I'm piloting drunk because my cat is saying hello. Hi, Shiva. No, no. <laughs> so I, how much longer do I have on that bounty? I have 23 days left. I think I can. I think I can make it. All right, all right, gal. So I did read this whole thing out earlier. I'm just not gonna do it again. You may have beaten me twice, but now I've brought back a fucking legion. Oh, and I and I bought a pair of, I bought a pair of um, what you call it, omens. Yeah. Uh. Omens are going to help a lot against these hounds and stuff. Out of my way, bitches! I shouldn't use gender terms. Are you a reckless officer? Is that who I gave my reckless officer to? I think I think I did. Oh god, you're going to die. Revenge of the Thag- I hope it's Revenge of the Thago. It'll be really, it'll be really uh, embarrassing if it's not Revenge of the Thago. Hey, look at those assault chain guns! Assault chain guns are firing. They actually are doing exactly what I want them to do. They're killing fighters and they're killing flanking frigates. Uh, Bruiser's dead. That's the one with my uh, 
That was the reckless officer. Oh, these assault chain guns are just doing so nicely. Let's say you fire and. Eh, I got two torpedo hits. Two torpedo hits is a pretty good thing. One of those omens popped, like omens are wont to do. Let's see. Get another hurricane off on this guy. Get my shields back down. Get the targeting back over there. That's a kill. Oh, not quite a kill, but that's okay. I haven't actually been using my bombers yet. All right, bombers, go go kill that thing. <laughs> so yeah, I am using the assault chain guns as... It's not so much point defense, it's like, it's anti-fighter, right? Like, it, the high DPS short range, that's perfect for, perfect for anti-fighter. There we go. Recall the fighters. Get back to the hurricane. Hey, cat! <laughs> she just bit my wrist. Not like hard, but just like, pay attention to me. I need to pay, take a picture of you, Shiva, and put you on my Twitch page. Because you're adorable. Oh my god! She just leaped at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough of that. It's okay, cat. I'm just talking to the internet. The internet loves cats. Aha! I turned my shields on, suckers. Now I do need to I do need to take out these frigates. So let's activate the fighters. Oh, uh, I took a torpedo in the side. That's no good. They're kiting me. They're kiting me. Do you know what I'm not going to lose by this time? I'm not going to lose by CR. Haha. -ha. Yeah, she's like she's kind of annoyed at me, like not paying attention to her, I guess. Let's get some hammers out. Cool, hammers got the kill. I'm just gonna pull my fighters back in until they're reloaded. Load up the Mervs again. Oh, overload. I'm actually gonna fire a... Is that a waste? That was a totally wasted Merv. Aha, okay, so here I am. Omen overloaded. Um, yeah, you do get out of here. I already lost an Omen, actually. Which is a little, a little poor. I gotta say, the assault chain guns have done really well. Maybe it's, you know, I'm, I'm being flanked by hounds. Of course, assault chain guns are going to do well. But, like, they have proved absolutely, absolutely critical. The blood dog is absolutely nasty. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put my fighters on engage mode. And hopefully the broadswords and the wasps should take out the hound. Yep, yeah, there they go. They took out the hound. Uh, where is the bloodhound? The blood dog. There it is. There's the blood dog. Uh, you retreat. You're your SO ship. <laughs> I'll have you know that some of my three of my um Okay, so what's happening here? These fighters are hiding on the hull and they're drawing fire. I don't like that. Alright, I, I manually turned off my fire. And we're gonna activate burn drive. So the omen made it out. That's good. Um, we can turn full assault on. So the assault chain guns were the MVP. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident in saying that I might have gotten pretty badly swarmed there, if not for the assault chain guns. Get out of my way! I got places to be. And you get to speed up too. I think my I think that hurricane actually did a whole bunch of damage. Da 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 da. Yep, Gal retreated. Okay, I think this match is over. Um, I took some losses, but I I have the demod recovery skills. Ooh, but I don't have the skill that makes it so that officers always get recovered. Oh, I might lose a ship. We'll see. 
All right, I'm just gonna claim victory. So there we go. Um, now I'm gonna pursue. Throw frigates at it. Cool. She didn't make it out because of course she didn't. Uh, consider ship recovery. I can get my omen back. Ew, increase maintenance. Gross. And I lost the other one. That's fine. I could take. I could get some hound days. I guess. Eh. There. Nah. Yeah. Where's the blood dog? Oh, there's the blood dog. Yeah. Unique ships. Unique ships are good. Well, I put a reckless officer on the bruiser. Eh, that's probably not the best call. Non-compliant. I want to see what some of these uh, what some of these things are. And what's yours? Eh, fine. So there we go. I got some money. I murdered Gal Paladin because that's what we do around here. Get some loot. <laughs> so let's see. It has degraded engines, non compliant gunnery core. That's fun. Ew. Buckled environmental shielding. That's fun. Inoperative. Ugh. So it, it's beat to hell. It's got SO built in, though. It's a nice little trophy. I'm going to have to find a place to store it eventually, but for now it's fine. Ew, this got increased maintenance. That's just gross. I mean... Should I just take the demod reduction skills? I'm almost there. Like, I'm literally almost there. I could just... I have three points. I could just kill those right now. Let's see. And this is 100%. Sure. Screw it. We're going to do salvage run. I hadn't committed yet, but now I'm committed. Now, I don't have that many... Wow, I'm still getting... I mean, with all these salvage gantries, all these salvage gantries and the salvaging skill, I'm getting so much fuel and stuff. Now, let's see. I am actually just going to mothball this. Um, because I am a, a little bit under crew. All right. Hey, gal. I just killed it. I just killed it, but I only killed it after I found a zero demod legion. But there are there. I I, th I think I did three attempts where your bounty kicked the crap out of me. And I was swearing and being like, this ship sucks. It was really funny. And the final time I almost got it, but I got CR'd to death. Because I pilot everything like an SO hammerhead and overextend and get killed. Um, yes, yes, I built this ship specifically for this bounty. Although I really like assault chain guns on a Legion. Like, what else are you going to do if something gets close? Turn to face it? Pshaw. <laughs> also, gal, I read out the entire uh, script, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to clip it. But the entire script of the rant is there for the taking. Oh, it was Varus. Okay, I mean, I thought I kind of recognized the communist propaganda. Okay, I have 20 days to kill a pirate base. I just saved. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kind of, kind of did shoot shoot myself in the foot a little bit with the with the, but I just like being fast. It's a big difference being high burn speed. All right. Um. Oh, we got some. We got some heavy auto cannons. Ah, uh, yeah. 
you're gonna be a heavy auto cannon just because like I don't like Arbalist. <laughs> there we go. Now let's see, without the assault chain guns, so if I take off this 800 flux, I mean the, the heavy auto cannons is only 400 flux, I've got a thousand dissipation. So I'm actually still like I'm actually still a little bit under fluxes. Like, if I'm dueling with the assault chain guns, I'm way under flux. So I'm actually going to do something a little... No. Yeah. I should do something a little crazy and, and give myself... Give myself some vents. I mean, some caps. There we go. That's a little that's a little weird, but I, I think it's what I want. It's, Oh no 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 no! I'm fighting a I'm fighting a high tech station that might have a hill. I need all the dissipation I can get. Now let's see. I want your fuel. I want your crew. I don't I don't really know if there's anything I can do with marines. Vera, you put it. I remember some, there were some like rumors about ghost ships. Do I need marines? Just just tell me, Vera. Do I need marines? Huh. I I am seeing yes on marines. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna buy a hundred marines. I'm gonna buy 150 marines. And hopefully that'll be enough to do some stuff. Okay, um I've spent too long digging around in the market of a ships that I'm just going to blow up. Wait, why does this have expanded missile reactors? Well, I'll deal with this thing later. Oh, you're right. I should have sold the metal. Well, oh well. Now, I'm not going to deploy my frigates because... Um, this thing had a this thing had a hill on it. It was literally just burning my frigates to death. I'm gonna deploy the omens though, because I don't care if they die. Yeah, Xenthalus 85, you're totally correct. Um Well shit happens. Okay, I'm actually gonna set my set my fighters on engage. Well, Gal, did the VOD will be up. I'm not going to play for too much longer. So, the VOD should be up in not too long. And look at this bombing run. It's just like in the wrong place. It's against a spar. So here, here's the downfall of the high-tech station. It's got a leaky shield module, as it were. So the high DPS of the hammer barrage can actually get a few hits in. But now I just need to kind of weather the storm, as it were. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. Is that arcing straight through the shield? That is. Does Omen EMP go through module shielding? Because this, this, this shielding is not from this module. This shielding is from the inner module. That was really weird. I'm really not, I'm really not sure what to think about that. All right. I'm now point blank range. Um, assault chain guns are going. Um, hammer barrage out. Hurricane Merv out. I mean, that's the difference between when when I tried to kill the station with the mining ships and the hill was just burning me down. A proper combat capital just crushes it. I mean, it should, right? It's a capital. It's it's a 14 legion capital. Even even with this kind of janky weapon loadout. Um, all right. There's the overload. No, I, I didn't. 
I didn't need it. Wait, it's too long to it's too long to clip? Oh no. You know, I think I can do it. I can I can make um I can make like extra long segments. So it's it's not technically a clip. It's a uh, like a I don't even know what the name for it is. They have some special name for it where they're like, "Oh, highlight, highlight, that's what it is." I can make a highlight. All right, this this fight's over. Yeah, I can make a highlight video of me doing the dramatic reading. Of me reading this screen. Yeah, you're absolutely right about the medals. I got 360. Oh, and I have to I have to dump it. So I lost a few thousand, like 3,000 there. Triple leveled. Oh, I let me just save. I forgot to look at the combat analytics report. Or um Gal Paladins. Fight. Missions combat combat. So this was against Gal Paladin's fight. And the assault chain guns here did so much more damage than anything else. 31,500 total with 6,000 shield and 25,000 ship. Yeah. That was really good. Hammer Barrage is up next. Actually, quite quite even between between all these guns. And as expected, my fire support prospector was the next up. All right, that's fun. And this was entirely the Legion. Almost entirely the damage done was the Legion. Okay. Oh, hello. Are you gonna are you gonna harass me? Now let's see, I think I'm going to wrap up soon, just because I've been going for three and a half hours now. Jesus, I've been streaming for three and a half hours. So to sum up, uh, I got my ass kicked a few times, I explored this region, I found an okay arid world here, 150 with decive, uh, some okay resources, and I found a really nice world. Um... In Weaver, nope, not Weaver. I found a really nice world in Wotan. I found a Terran world with rich farmland and only 100%, but there's no uh, stable points in the system. So this, I'm definitely going to colonize this. Like, of course I'm going to colonize it. But I am going to take a, I'm going to take a stability penalty on the world because there's no harm relay. I'll be able to see once and for all. Uh, yeah, only, only one secondary world. It's not a good one either. It's. Oh no no no! I haven't I haven't surveyed it yet. Oops. I so I, I'm gonna finally see like, if I have a, if I have a com relay in an adjacent system, does that extend any benefit? Because that's in com relay range. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And finally, there is a third habitable world over here, but it's really marginal. Um. It's heavy gravity and it's sparse. It's only adequate, so we'll see what happens. I think I actually am done. I actually am done surveying this constellation, but this is a really high accessibility world. It's Terran. I'm gonna take it. I need to explore this constellation. Kang might have a really good world, but with that. With all that, well, I'm going to just do a few more rounds of this. I am going to call it a day. I've been streaming for way too long, which is kind of a nice way to spend a, spend a weekend day. Thanks to everyone for dropping in. Yep, yep, i got to check the black hole for, for research station. Thanks for everyone for dropping in. Oh, we finished with 16 people. That's not bad. It was great to be streaming again. I don't know. I'm having a blast playing Vera's, Vera's Sector. I know that there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen yet in Vera's Sector. I haven't seen ghost ships yet. 
I haven't seen um, these minor factions colonizing, which I know happens. Uh, I've only done Gal Paladin's Unique Bounty. I haven't done any others. So there's... There's a lot of stuff left to do. There's a lot of, there's a lot of content. I'm going to take this last one, and I'm finally going to take some freaking combat skills. Ugh. Yeah, you're right. I, I probably will do military base. Okay. I'm calling it a night. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and uh, see you next time.